Oh, hey, didn't notice you there. Just kidding. I'm talking to my computer in a room by myself. Anyway, um, I'm thinking about how I don't want to mess up Simba's last name, but I didn't have time to ask him how to pronounce it, so here we go, we do it live. This episode, we got Simba Nimba, and that's how Google told me to pronounce it, so if I got it wrong, shit. Anyway, Grip Gambler, proceed, final bout, Club FR, I mean... The man's a Chicago legend. He's a triple threat. He's the Slam Sylvia Senpai, you know? Um, and I've been wanting to do this with him since I started doing these, and we finally had some time. And you know, we had some issues with connection, and we had some issues with, with sound and stuff. But you know what? Like I said, we do it live, and I'm just going to keep putting these out even if I fuck them up because I don't know what I'm doing. So. If you don't enjoy it, <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> oh, I should not use this intro, but I'm going to anyway. Enjoy, friends. Real good choice. I mean, yeah, what kind of how could we not? I, I, I feel like if you were wearing that, I would have went and changed into this anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right that's fair but we were on the same level same page here so yeah that's a good I was like i'm i'm doing a call with simba i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna wear my my elmatic hoodie or sweater i don't know whatever <laughs> it doesn't have a hood so i don't think it's a hoodie yeah it's just just a plain old sweater it's all right i like nas so it's it's a fair it's yeah a fair thing to rock i like i, I, I like suge knight i'm a fan there you go is he still in jail I don't even know. Uh, I think so. I don't think you're allowed to run people over. I mean, he should ask like, for a pardon. Cars. Actually, they literally just pardoned somebody else from death row today or yesterday. Should I ask for a pardon? Did they? Yeah, I forget who. I don't I don't know. It's like nobody you wouldn't know, but somebody somebody was pardoned from death row. Like death row records for people listening. <laughs> Not death row, death row. Yeah. And <laughs> Yeah, I guess I guess for people listening, I'm wearing a Nazilmatic sweater, and he's wearing a Death Row sweater. Like, yeah, it, we're kind of pretty much. Yeah, we're pretty much gonna shoot each other. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you you probably should have worn a Biggie shirt, but you know, it is what. Yeah, it is. That, that's the only thing that could have made this more uh, fitting. <laughs> it works, but no, the Nas, the Nas, Nas works. I'll appreciate it. I'll take it. it ain't bad. Yeah, or like a Bad Boy Entertainment. Like, yeah, there you go. A little, little baby on there. Yeah, actually, I wonder. <laughs> I wonder if what came. Well, ba Bad Boy was after, right? I don't know if their logo of the baby because it's kind of interesting that it's a baby, basically, right on theirs, pretty much. And then Death Row is death. Yeah. Cradle, cradle the grave type stuff here. I don't know. Was mm -hmm. that on purpose? That's, That's really me. perceptive, man. I, I yeah, it, it might be. <laughs> I think. I never really thought about it until I'm thinking about it now, thinking of what the Bad Boy logo looks like. Looked like I don't know what it looks like now, but yeah, hmm. yeah. One one guy in jail for running someone over the car. The other guy super rich and like yeah on TV and stuff. <laughs> like Is Shug he still Knight didn't do like reality shows, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know what I would true. like to yeah. have seen? What's that? Is Suge Knight doing the same like? Uh, the same show that P Diddy did. Remember, was it making the band? Oh, making yeah, making the band. Make, oh, God. <laughs> I, I want to see making the band with Suge Knight. With Suge Knight, I, I don't know if any of them would have survived. <laughs> <laughs> I am fairly certain if they made one mistake, it would have been. Uh, nah, this is like yeah. Me. <laughs> making it to 25 with Suge Knight. Uh, yeah, 25 is pushing it even with Suge Knight. <sighs> so I was going to say, uh, Tupac died in like, was he like 23 or something? Maybe? I don't even think he made it to 25. I don't know. I don't know how old Tupac was when he died. It was 97. It's very, I know that. It's, it was very confusing to figure out what ages those guys were because to me, they f look like they were in their 30s the, or just maybe because of their long histories, but I know they were in their early 20s. But they were young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were pretty young, I think. Which is interesting. I don't know. Must be cool to be that cool and that young. 
I can't imagine. Yeah. yeah. I definitely was not anywhere as <sighs> close to as cool as Tupac when I was 23. No, I was a nerd. I was, well, no, not a nerd. Well, a 240 nerd, I guess, technically speaking. So maybe I thought I was cool, but had, truly, I was I just a car un- nerd. I had unpainted origin gray over fenders when I was 23. <laughs> I, I kind of remember. I see. I have an act. Well, this is good for you to know now. I have a terrible memory. So, if you were to ask me what I was doing in 2000 or whatever year that would have been, I have no idea. I'd have to look it back. Yeah. Like this whole my posting things on Thursdays has been re re bringing back all my memories. So, it's helping, <laughs> helping bring back my memory, looking things up. I mean, yeah, you've been you've been in. You've been in drifting for a very long time. Like when I was talking to Ilya, I didn't know that you got, you had been drifting. Like you were like one of the original people from Chicago, even before a lot of other people. Yeah. There was only a small handful that were drifting before me. Basically that would probably have been Rob was definitely before me. And then Eric Wartman and then Crab and this guy, Jesse. Those are probably like the first groups of people that were drifting before me. I think they're the ones that taught me, put it that way, <laughs> or showed me what to do, I should say. But that's How did it. you find it? Were you? Um, you... It started, so ironically, I, my brother was into cars, and then he, just because he was into cars and I was around it a little bit, I started like getting into them, and I was just trying Older to- Older brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was trying to figure out what car to get, and what did I want? Originally, I wanted like a- and GSX, Eclipse GSX, or uh, GSX. Ooh. Just because, you know, it's like it was all wheel drive, it was turbo, like what's not to love? But, you know, at 16 years yeah. old, and at that time, those things were like ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000. And I was like, I can't afford that. So then I was like, all right, <laughs> how about a talent? Because I can afford a talent. <laughs> it's the same thing, right? <laughs> but even that, yeah. even that was like five grand and then i started reading stories of like crank walk and all this and i was like all right this is too complicated i'm not doing that then eventually somehow i fell into it those have the did those have the 4g63s yeah yeah yeah. some of them right some yes you have to get the right one so it's just it's basically the cheap version of of a gsx so it worked but yeah, and then I ended up just getting an S13 with no intentions to drift it at all by, by, by any means. And I planned on autocrossing it, technically speaking. All the early guys, all the early guys did that. They like got, they got like an S chassis and they're like, all right, I mean, this car is cool, I guess. And yeah. then they just ended up being like this like cult vehicle that like everyone wants. Yeah, later. It, it was, it looked good. The S13, you know, I got a hatch and it looked cool. And like at the time, there was no real drifting in Chicago. At the, even at the time, it's probably right when Benson, he had already been like street drifting, but it wasn't very known. Obviously, there's no like real no way to get around. But so what I ended up doing is I just I got into cars or whatever, and I started hosting 240 meets at like 17 years. Technically, I started hosting 240 meets before I bought the S13 because I wanted to learn more about them before I could buy one. So I started going to meets and hosting meets. So like this, I guess is the reason why I do club of fire is I was just like, well, nobody's making meets, So let me do it. So I hosted 240 meets for a little while. And like, I just got really in with the 240 crowd brought a 240. And then like some of the guys that drifted started coming to them. And one day they were like, yo, do you want to check out drifting? And I knew what it was, but like, you want to check out drifting? I was like, all right, cool. So we went to just some random street spot and like, I think it was with Wartman and Crab. They both did a run at the street spot and then they're like, all right, it's your turn. I was like, what do you mean? It's my turn. They're just like, yeah, we didn't just bring you here to watch. We brought you to your truck to try it. I was like, shit. It's like, all right. It's like, what am I supposed to do? So then, yeah, they just was like, I don't know, just go into the corner and clutch kick it. You know, it was a t- typical Bow Wow moment, that whole power over clutch kick into it and just do it. <laughs> And then, I don't know, I just did it and I loved it. And then I just started, we started street tripping almost every night. Basically. Love, love it first clutch kick, huh? Literally. <laughs> I'm glad it went well. Because at the time, it was a bone stock S13. Open diff, like nothing, spe- like not even a single mod done to the thing. But, I don't know, it, you know, back in the day, all we did was one corner anyway. So it didn't really matter. So it was yeah. like, 
as long as you're going left. Yeah, it literally. It was a, it was a left turn, actually. <laughs> it was definitely a left turn, and it worked. So, yeah. I remember trying to drift my S13 when I got it, when it was open diff, and I was like, I can go one yeah. way, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird time, but it's, I don't know, it's kind of, I feel like it taught you some things doing it open diff. I don't suggest it by any means, but in what desperate times call for desperate measures, especially when you're 16, 17 years old. It's like, hey, man, do what you got to do. And especially at that yeah. time, welding a diff was not a thing. Nobody yeah. knew that. And you're like, how much is a limited slip? Like, I'm gonna, exactly, I'll put yeah. a VLSD in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally, that was, that, was a th- that was a thought that passed by. I was just like, but then I think I ended up just drifting open diff for like a year and a half or two years i think like on track and everything it worked Damn, that's that's why you're so good <laughs> yeah <laughs> to be honest it's it, it helped a lot because i learned that the only way to make it work is you had to go like an extra 20 percent faster yeah and then it all work. momentum yeah, yeah yeah and and i just got used to it so that's how i got used to the speed and the simple things yeah, so, the guy, the, the guy trick. with the coolest hood in the world, literally <laughs> drifted for a year and a half without without a diff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. People think we're just all rich. I know that's like a. I know. You know I'm, sh- I'm sure people come to you and be like, "Yeah, you guys are rich. You get an M3, or you know, blah blah yeah. blah." Yeah. That's like. I mean, yeah. yeah it's, they're like, "Oh, you guys like drift all the time. It must be, you know, you guys must have a bunch of money." It's like, I've just been yeah. doing it forever. You just have all the stuff. Slowly, exactly. like I just bought a trailer. It's been ten years. I've been like yeah. borrowing trailers and U-Haul <laughs> and like trying to find a friend to like get me to the track. And you know, California is a little different. We we don't have like nice cops like you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ours are pretty nice when it comes to that stuff. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good on that. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> depends yeah. on what you're talking about so yeah, yeah. fair but, enough yes car life here is a lot easier and like i yeah i do feel like, bad for a lot of places they put up with the snow fuck it let them have their stupid motor swap pretty, pretty much i i think it <laughs> it honestly comes from yes yeah, stupid things like that because they all play with the snow they all do stupid things they don't care they got more to worry about so that's obviously a thing yeah it yeah. is I, they have more to worry about here. Why are they coming after us? Yeah, you're right. I don't. Well, that's that's your politicians. I think <laughs> you heard yeah. all this California carb stuff is like why they take it seriously. I blame Fast and Furious. Fast, is it? Is that why? The Fast is that... and Furious, the first one. I don't know. I don't know. I think I was reading about how it all came into play, and it was like the Honda drag racing scene. Really? Yeah, the Honda drag racing scene was like what. Uh, caused a bunch of that i guess um, I, I don't really know the like the dates or whatever but I, I did look into it and i was like why do we have these laws and that's kind of what yeah. messes up the 25 year import law so we can't um, you know import stuff here okay i mean i could i could see that 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 yeah. damn that's in the furious well, well i mean i think it was like <laughs> i think it was like what the movie like the because there was like a lot was- of the drag race scene in la was huge so yeah, they were like, there's probably like a lot of people crashing and they're like, uh, they're destroying property and like crashing into stuff. Like we should probably like do something about this. Okay. Yeah, that that's fair. I mean, I came in my car life was just after drag racing in Chicago was pretty big too. Honda drag. Yeah. That whole scene, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. that was a pretty big problem I f- here. I feel like that was the previous, previous generation or like the, like, yeah. Benson's generation, but Benson was just like, I'm gonna do this other cool shit. Yeah, he, it's he made the right call. I think if and when you have Josh on, he will probably be able to tell you better, especially with his family and stuff like that. Yeah. I think they know more about that because he was he was a Honda kid, obviously, at the beginning, but like I, I want to say he would have done bit. it. <laughs> yeah, oh a hundred percent. Yeah. But yeah, like so our area, like we used to have what's called the stockyards, like which you know, like meat stockyards, you know, packing and packing industry and all that stuff, which like we still kind of have, but like around that area, because it was just warehouses and just that type of thing. There was a lot of straights and a lot of this, that, and the other. So that's where people would drag race a lot. And like, even to this day, drag racing is still shunned more than drifting because like when we go street drifting and all that type of stuff, if a cop does come, 
in some cases they will just say are you are you drag racing and then when you tell them no they're like okay whatever kind of thing <laughs> but if you're drag racing like then they're yeah they so that's still like a problem like i don't think we could go out there and just go drag race our cars up and down the street then you know obviously the other part about drag racing is you're going to hit like a hundred and something miles an hour and yeah. you know it's Trippy i mean on the street. you're like lucky to grab third we'll yeah exactly yeah and like in theory, it could be potentially more dangerous and whatnot, but I think they fear drag racing more than they fear drifting. Maybe it's just more of an unknown, but they also rarely see us physically do it. I think they just think we're just a bunch of idiots revving our cars and doing burnouts, and they're just like, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> Was it like the older? It like. Yeah, I mean, luckily you guys don't have the the like sideshow stuff or the takeover stuff out there. I think that would yeah. bring a lot of uh, negative no, attention. No, we do. Yeah. It's I don't maybe because I'm an old maybe because I'm an old man now, even though I'm not that old. But like, it's there, and I see it on some like some kids that I like follow on Snapchat or Instagram. I do see them posting stuff, and it does happen. I don't know where this is happening. Like, I don't know if you remember. Maybe like four or five years ago, there was a video of some kid in Lower Wacker. Because Lower Wacker is a place that we street drifted back in the day once or twice or whatever. It's really kind of pointless because yeah. it's like really small. But right now they it looks cool. It looks cool. Yeah, video. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they do. They don't call. We don't call them sideshows. Well, I don't think they call them sideshows, but it's the same concept. It's literally yeah. sometimes you will see you'll see everybody parked up in a circle and everybody's just doing circles in the middle. You know, everybody's with their cameras out and then about to get hit all that stupid stuff. So same thing happens. I don't hear about it too much, but it does happen here, but it's not on the news. You know, I think you guys have that, that shit on the news all the time, but I think mean, cops are just yeah. like, whatever. It's been on the news for like 15, 20 years. Like I remember yeah. seeing sideshow like stuff on the news for, like 20 years like when i was like a little kid i like remember the house that i would see it on the news at and i i was 10 so that oh, was geez. 21 years ago that's crazy sideshow side has been a thing like in the bay for i don't know since the raiders got here i think I, jesus I don't, I don't understand it i mean i guess people don't understand it's, drifting it's either stemmed, but it stemmed from it stemmed from after the the Raiders games in Oakland. They would like go oh. out and like go do donuts and stuff because everybody would be like tailgating uh. and drunk and stuff, and then they like go oh. find intersections. Okay, and, like, party, keep the party going. Interesting. I okay, call it a sideshow. I think I'm pretty sure that's what it came from. I could be wrong. Interesting. No, I mean that's I I never knew. I just figured people like to see donuts and things, but wow. Okay, interesting yeah it's it's and then there's like then like people started calling them takeovers because you take over intersections or like, freeways or whatever i guess probably mm, why they okay. call it that and then yeah that, that i think i've cause... seen i've seen the the term takeover has happened here a bit because i've even seen pictures of or videos of some guys doing just literally just monging up and down our 90 highway and i'm just like what are, what are you guys doing <laughs> it's like what is happening <laughs> It's like this is how we get in trouble for this type of stuff but you know i'm like don't do it on the highway yeah, like an idiot but yeah i'm like don't you don't you ruin my culture don't yeah, you ruin the thing yeah. That we've worked hard to like make it not be bad but you know whatever yeah, kids exactly. are gonna, but it's like older people to, i don't know i don't get it anyway they have them like literally on the corner of my new apartment i like went out one night after a drift event i got home and i was like yeah. am i hearing things like <laughs> I was like, I went oh, out my front door yeah. and I opened it and it was just like a bunch of people and like cars like doing terrible donuts. Like, you know, the ones where they just like whip and then yeah. like go around yeah. and like whip again. Like somebody's yeah. going to get hit. I just yeah, went back inside. I was like part. too tired. I was like, should I go over there? <laughs> nah. Go and check it out. Yeah, the, the weird part is around here, that type of thing just won't happen downtown because that's, that's the only time cops will care is if like you're down, I'm talking about downtown. Well, like well, you where you stayed when you were um, when you came here that whatever time, what like three years ago or whatever. Like if you're in that area, yeah. some people that live in that area, if they hear it, they'll call the cops and be like, "You guys need to stop this noise." And it's not the fact that they're doing burnouts on the ground; it's literally the noise that's the problem. Mm -hmm. That's where like because like this the same same thing happened with for motorcycle guys. Like they just love to 
go in hordes of like hundreds, like crotch rockets, Harleys, whatever. And whenever that happens, that's when the cops come out. And it's because of the noise. Because everybody in the high rise is just like, yo, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. And Everyone in the high rise is like, calls, calls Senator Clay, Clay Davis. Is that the dude from The Wire? I don't know. I, I, don't I don't never know. watched anyway, The Wire. <laughs> never watched The I Wire. Just, My brother did. It. Is it good? I just finished it. Dude, I like literally didn't do any podcasts for like I did like one podcast for like a month because all I was doing was watching the wire every time I had a free chance. Yes, damn, is that yeah, my brother watched it and told me like you should watch it. So I just That's started watching I game. I'm watching Game of Thrones right now. I just started. So when maybe when I'm done with this, I'm a little behind. Okay, so you know, two years from now. Yeah, yeah, basically. When you're done with Game of Thrones. Yeah, it's long. I know, I know. <laughs> I'll get to it eventually. So, Zero. so you came, you came like you, you, before you even got a car, you were setting up events. You went, you went to drift events. Like when you first got the car, who, who was like no. running the events back then? No. So oh. I got, so I was setting up, so it was kind of a weird mold of things. So Rob was doing autocross because his parents were autocrossers and he had his Miata, but he would, drift a little bit like at autocrosses but obviously like autocross shuns on that and then he knew yep. benson because of like yeah because of his like col- like obviously their connection with japan and all that so he knew benson and crab and he would talk to benson about drifting he knew um what are the guys from drift association uh, like uh taka Aono and i forget the other guy's name the main guy the tall skin well kind of tall skinny you're tall but uh, <laughs> Japanese tall. <laughs> but anyways, uh, the drift, the original Drift Association guys, like they were all friends with Benson and Rob. So they wanted to start drifting and Drift Association in, the, in California just started. Uh, and then basically I had the connection to all the 240 guys because of meets and they knew about drifting and hosting a, like autocrosses. So we just came together one day and was just like, let's do this. Let's use Drift Association. They're going to help us do it. They're going to help us with insurance. And we're going to set up events. So we were the first ones to do events here. And it was just, I was more on the, like, I'll gather the people. You guys take care of the rest. And we did events. Was it, where did you start out at first? Was it parking lot stuff or? (laughs) No, that's the weird part about here. And we, I think in our... 15 16 years of doing events we've used maybe like 10 parking lot events out of the like 300 so our first event was at tire rack like say no 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 sorry was it tire rack or was it norway i've already forgotten which is absolutely terrible drift day one well technically our first event was a parking lot but it wasn't our event there was an event in minnesota that we went to go help so we drove all the way up to Minnesota and it was in a parking lot. It was in one of those like motorcycle training parking lots, tiny, like ba- basically the size of a U.S. Air parking lot, useless. But our first Club of Fire event was, again, my bad memory. I want to say it was Tire Rack. So Tire Rack has a test facility in South like Bend, seen, Indiana. I didn't know that. I think I've like seen yeah. stuff from that. Yeah, it's like, it's they you know, they it use it. They did. <laughs> they used to. <laughs> so it's so autocrossers. Yeah, basically. So autocrossers would use it in like we, because Rob's dad was like a treasurer for Windy City Miata Club. So they used it at the time. So we had like a hookup on how to get there. But, the, you know, Tire Rack used it just for, you know, their testing, how they test grip and rain and like road noise. They use it for that and they do all sorts of stuff with it. But it's like literally right outside their offices, basically. How do, and we, get, how do we get that job? I, I don't know. That's a good question. Work there. Well, first, you have to live in South Bend, Indiana. Have you ever been to South Bend, Indiana? Um, I think that's where my clutch is from. Probably. Yeah, South Bend. Yeah, they do have clutches in South Bend. I forget. The, is it South Bend Clutches, I think? Yeah. 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 I think that's the same same city. But yeah, so we use that for a little while. Then we use another track that's like 45 minutes from where I'm at right now. That's in, it's called, well, we called it Norway, but it was in Norway, Illinois. Okay. So we called it another go-kart track. So we use that as a go-kart track. And then eventually then, this was before US Air was built. 
all of this. So okay. like it wasn't even built at that point. And then we used um, Road America has a go kart track. We used that for a couple of events. Still no parking lot at this point. The first parking lot we ever did was when RSR Drift Festival came to Chicago because they they wanted, they wanted it close to the city. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so they we did that, and they needed something big because I think their first event was was by you guys. I don't know if it was at Irwindale, maybe, maybe. Uh, is... I think so. I think I remember seeing stuff about that. Yeah, it would have been way, 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 way back in the day. But yeah, that was the only parking lot event we ever did because then US Air got built. We started using US Air. And then like aside from that, we had basically used US Air and rotating with Road America. And then Tire Rack eventually was like no more. And that which kind of sucked. <laughs> it was more so because like so they're the way they do their wet testing is they have sprinklers that are like on the outside of the track, you know, they pop up. And then they spray water onto the track. So the we hit a few. Yeah, yeah, we hit a few. There was that, and then there was also a moment of like the way that it worked. There's like the course was kind of it. I don't know how to describe the shape, but it kind of looked like maybe a, the letter D, but like just like an elongated D. Like it looked like a basketball court, like a basketball, like you know the center of the basketball hoop kind of thing. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah. anyways, so like. On the outer edge, there was this like berm that was probably about the height of a car just to like keep it within itself. And I think maybe for water retention too or something like that. Somebody one time went up and over that berm. And I think that was one of their like, okay, this is this is too much now. So yeah. <laughs> we, won't, we won't mention names. Yeah, you know. <laughs> because the other part of it is like the CEO has his office right there, right? So like He's, he can they can just watch <laughs> they can just see everything <laughs> so there's like yeah. a there's like a there's like a s14 like flying off i don't know what kind of car it was but it was an s13 <laughs> it was a hatch okay yeah <laughs> s13 hatch just like airborne yep he's like eating yep. a sandwich like yeah he's like what the fuck <laughs> So yeah, they stopped up letting his, us. Picks up his desk phone and just like dial somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Cut this out, please. Yeah, so that didn't work. Whatever they're long. paying, it's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of sucked. I wish we could use it, although it was really small. Like in general, like it was really, really small. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be much of any fun at this point. But you know, at the time we were all maybe 200 horsepower is, you know, the max somebody had. So it was cool. I think their yeah. most powerful yeah, some, car was a Mustang. My, like, some of my, like, OG friends will be like, how much power does your car make? I'm like, I don't, I don't know. It's like three something. And they're like, are you, like, trying to go pro or something? <laughs> like, exactly. They've been, yeah. they've, been, like, they've been out of it for so long. Like, I'm like, no. Oh, yeah. Like, they're like, dude, all you need is like an SR. You get the SR, you could do anything. And I'm like, listen here, old timer. It's a little different these <laughs> days, okay? Yeah, that's that's the funniest part because there's also even like, so one of the tracks we rent from the Autobahn like circuit or whatever, the guy that runs it, he used to do drifting. There's a track out west that has like crazy elevation changes. I can't remember what it's called, but it's very similar to thunder you know how thunder hills got like that little section that you go up and over it's very similar to that but it's a little bit crazier and i think it's like in oregon or something like that nobody uses it very often can't remember the name of it but he used to run you guys need to at least come try try thunder hill east i want i, I want to see what to. you can do on, on i want to i feel like i, I feel like you'd rip it yeah you you're you guys yeah. in your fifth gear stuff you and jason i'm like you know what this is a little much here people <laughs> it's it's pretty it's pretty forgiving it's forgiving you you'd be able to do it okay if you say so i don't know I've, I've, I've seen i've seen you drive i mean yeah i, I, I can I've drive seen, but that that i know but we did I, I wanted to come so bad especially this year it would have been perfect for new year's it would have been just right but thanks corona <laughs> thank you yeah. for screwing things up so we'll do it don't i think worry. we're all kind of dealing with the headaches of that yeah and then yeah, yeah like so you so you went through, yeah. Then when did you find you? So you found US Air. How? Who found US Air? Um, I want to say Rob just happened to see 
like an article or something that was just like, oh, new track being built in Shawna, Wisconsin. And like he saw pictures and he went up to it one day and just like he drove up there and just saw it and he was like this is like, like heaven I need, I need to see this with my own eyes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. him and him and this guy keith who was who was from minnesota who used to do our photo well you might have met him actually no because you didn't go to find about one sir <laughs> you might not have Sorry. met him but, <laughs> but no anyways him and I, keith went. i'm not gonna get i'm not gonna get my I'm not gonna get my my final about one ring at the room, am I? <laughs> nope. You are not going to. I have a shirt. If you want a shirt, I still have the final about one shirts. I can give you one of those. Take it. There you go. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, so anyway, so Robin, this guy oh, Keith, they went up <laughs> they went up there and like took pictures and just said it was perfect and then we had an event like a couple months later. And let them we rented it and had an event our first event there it rained oh so all you, day so you so you've been drifting you've been drifting at us air like since they built it yeah literally the year that they built it Dang. so we we saw it when and they it had, was they had like no perfect. no idea of doing drifting right like no this was like, it was was it supposed to just be a cart track yeah uh-huh it was full-on cart track it was it's a long story but they were it was owned by a cult because shauna was basically owned by a cult i'm sure you've heard some stories of that whole situation and like oh yeah shauna, dude, that's like my favorite part of going yeah yeah it's like all <laughs> so the you... <laughs> people in town are like you're like what is up with this place and someone's like oh yeah it's like a cult town you're like oh now it makes that explains sense. every interaction i've had here yeah exactly yeah so yeah, there was that whole situation. I'm like, why do they not hate us? <laughs> we give them money. <laughs> it's literally that's why. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah fair enough. Give them, give them a lot. Every of time money. we go to Longhorn, I'm like, how do they let let us come back here? Oh, they they but love us. We probably like do their entire year every mm-hmm. every like in two days. Oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. And like, and that's on us paying what like a dollar for a, like two dollars for a beer and like dollar fifty for a shot or something i don't even know i, I couldn't tell oh, you how much they spent. probably have to get that i guarantee you they have to get that punching machine serviced after every, <laughs> after every oh, yeah. time we come to town 100 percent, they do <laughs> they had to do that they got to stock up on liquor so melvin usually calls them before like before every event he calls them and sets things up which is perfect so they know that we're coming and we, we know I feel like Melvin is like low key the the like the the party king, but like doesn't has like no does not admit to it. No, it's high know. high key. He's high like, key. He's yeah. like <laughs> okay. <laughs> he is. <laughs> he definitely is. Like that's that's no no secret to say the least. He knows he knows how to. Yeah, set he got he got me trash right. with some peer pressure. Yeah. <laughs> that's walking around with a right. tray of shots. I'm like I'm like okay, I guess. Okay, I guess yeah. I'm like, why am I trashed? And then he shows up That's... with like a ton of White Castle, and I'm like, this I don't ever want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty normal. That's pretty normal. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. I yeah, I didn't drink before I started hanging out with Melvin a lot. Put it that way, I didn't drink until like my mid twenties, I think, something like that. And then here I here I am, dude. I was I I'm gonna bring it up because. Because I think that's crazy. I saw that you posted on IG. Someone asked you if you're from Zimbabwe, yes. and you're like, "Yeah, I was born there." I was like, "What the fuck? That's crazy!" <laughs> like, how how old were you when you moved here? Um, so well, technically, I I was born in Zimbabwe. Then we moved to London, and then I moved here. Oh, so I moved. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I lived in the UK for. I lived in Zimbabwe for two years. Lived in the UK for two years, and then I got here when I was five. So I've been here since. Okay, so that's so why you, no accents. So like, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, no accents. I lived in, little memories. I lived, in uh, I lived in Santa Fe, New Mexico when I was like young, and then we moved to Northern California. So well, I don't have any easy. like yeah. <laughs> but I was I was three. No. I think when you're five, you like kind of like have some kind of recollection. That's kind of crazy, man. So you're, yeah. Yeah, I've got some from the UK, like not as much. I, obviously, I remember more, but I used to go back to Zimbabwe every year up until I think up until I was 16. Do you have like you'd go back? Do you have a ton of family there? Obviously. Yeah, a decent amount. I've got to be honest, I got family kind of all over, but yeah, the majority of them are in Zimbabwe. So, you know, my grand, well, one 
half of my grandparents are over there. The other half kind of goes back and forth between here and there. And then I've got, yeah, I've got family in Australia, New Zealand, London. I don't know. My family's all over the place. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How'd you end up in, how'd you end up in Chicago? They were like, they're like, I don't know. It seems cold. (laughs) cold. Yeah. I'm actually, I'm surprised that they took Chicago for the cold, but no, it was, my mom was a nurse. So she first, it was one of those, you know, American dream type things, right? They wanted their kids to have an American education instead of Zimbabwe. And and at the time Zimbabwe was fine, but it was, you know, uh, you know, history tells you that a lot of African countries will, you know, typically fall apart kind of thing and eventually did. So we left at the right time, but, my mom got a job a in London. Note. I have one of those like, I have, like one of those, the big like, ones. Ten, ten, yeah, yeah. You my actually mom, bought my, one of those. My friend gave it to me. <laughs> my friend gave it to me. I was like, "What?" He had him. He was like, "I was like, what is this?" Why? He's like, oh, and then my mom. My I, I shouldn't tell the story. I'll tell it. Okay, so I I showed my mom. I was like, "Hey, check it out. I'm rich," yeah. and she's like, "Hold on to that. It's gonna be worth money one day." We've like we have like a whole gang of people and we're collecting them. And I was like. No, it's not. No, like, no, no it's, it, not. it's not. It's funny. It's, it's it's worth. I was like, nothing. this is this is a bookmark. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't even know what currency they're using right now. To be honest, I, I'm pretty sure they just reset everything. Like I can't remember what happened. Like I should know. I feel terrible not knowing, but yeah, yeah, it's it's a mess. Yeah, I, I, I don't, know. I don't, all I know is about. It's all like, i know yeah, is that there was like some crazy inflation and they they printed like money that just has like a trillion like it's like i think it's a trillion right it is, it's like yeah, one it's zero, 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 and i have one yeah because that's that's what they were using for currency because it like inflated so much yeah for anyone who doesn't want to so google bad. it it's so bad yeah i remember the last time i went to zimbabwe i don't think that bill existed but the inflation was so bad and i remember my my aunt, she gave us spending money, but it was, I have a picture of it somewhere, but it was like a stack of like money like this. And that was just like money for food and for shopping. And I was just like, okay. I bet the, it's like, I bet the strip right. clubs are cracking then. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you'd have to throw a book at somebody basically. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You just make it rain every like two seconds. You're like, whatever. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, I, can't say i've been to a strip club in zimbabwe i was 16 at the time the last time i went so that would explain why right. well, I, man, I, yeah, I, I do want to go back <laughs> like, i gotta go back check it out I'll see how it is but yeah so my mom yeah so she got a job in london and then eventually chicago was looking for nurses i mean america was looking for nurses and chicago just happened to be one of the ones that seemed most interesting to her so she picked it and we moved here I haven't left school cool city i haven't left since where my mom's yeah. from oh is she from here i think you've told me this too but yeah 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 yeah, yeah my mom's from chicago her our our like family on her side has some pretty like deep roots there and stuff so uh, okay i have like a uh, every time i go to chicago i just feel comfortable man i don't know maybe it's because you got <laughs> like i hang out you guys like we go out, we go out to eat and i'm like all right i like this I was. This I was like, like, was eat. <laughs> uh, you guys saved me. I had, I was on this like crazy work trip for obviously like you know, and and you guys yeah. hit me up, and we went to go eat like I think like two or three different times. I was there for like two weeks. Man, that was like yeah. the only thing keeping me alive. Like I was like I was working like <laughs> 14, 16 hour days or something, and like I didn't pack oh, for the geez. cold at all. So like oh. every day I was like <laughs> walking to this like. I was doing uh, like a project at like a company uh, that's like in one of in downtown Chicago and like yeah I packed I packed like a a, a pea coat a, a sweater a flannel and like some t-shirts and I was like I should be good I got there I wore every <laughs> single t-shirt pea coat sweater and and flannel all at once every day just to get to the oh, spot because I was like I had to yeah. walk I'm like walking back past like michael jordan's steakhouse like fucking... <laughs> yeah it's no wonder he's so where good you at were, it's, it's brutal where you were like being downtown downtown like right by the lake the wind will cut through you like it's yeah. not it's not good 
there was especially like, somebody from your area. <laughs> yeah, they don't sell they don't sell socks where I live to handle that kind of temperature. <laughs> like, like, that was like the craziest thing. I went into the Timberland store and like they had like thick ass socks, and I was like, "The fuck are these?" Like I'm I like I like went up to the thing and I was with my coworker and I was like buying them and shit, and they're like, "Yeah." What do you, <laughs> Because there was no one downtown. Like, no one was downtown. Yeah. It was, like, completely dead. And I'm in there, like, buying socks. And they're like, who the fuck is this guy? I was like, uh, I'm from San Francisco. Like, we don't have... <laughs> like, we don't have I was like, we don't, I don't... They don't make socks like... They don't sell socks like this where I live. <laughs> Do you still have those socks? That's the question. Hell yeah. I wear... Anytime it's, like, really cold. Anytime it's, like, a super cold uh, drift day at Thunder Hill, I'll wear them. And I'll be, like, All right. nice, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's you gotta prepare. You gotta you gotta stay warm somehow. But yeah, it's it's that time now. It's kind of cold. It's been snowing. It's been kind of kind of shitty, but we're used to it. Yeah. Actually, today was really nice. Today was actually it was when I say really nice, it was like thirty eight and sunny. <laughs> <laughs> so that's really nice. <laughs> do you do you put um, do you guys like you guys like kind of like put your cars away for winter, right? yeah pretty much like right in uh, what's up i've always i've always kind of had this theory that uh chicago cars are nice because you have like a refresh period where like you literally can't drive them and you like have oh, time yeah. to be like all right i need to like i'm gonna fix this i'm gonna fix that obviously it's like really cold and uh, and you probably don't want to work on your car much but uh like you at least like have time to like plan out what you're gonna do next or like you're yeah not driving it's... so you can save up and it's like 80 percent the reason why and yeah because it's one of those we have a planned break like you guys can take a break whenever right but like if you take a break then maybe julian doesn't take a break at this point or you know vice versa and you're like well what the hell you know if you're not coordinated but for us it's like we take those breaks and it's it's the we know we have like four months of doing nothing and even if you're not working on the car because it's too cold which to be honest 90 percent of the people here don't do anything during the winter but you're not spending money so you save yeah. money and most people start working on their car in like late march oh so you save right. up and you like acquire parts probably you're like do a lot yeah. of do a lot of yahoo japan shopping yeah, Shout pretty out. much yeah Shout out streeter <laughs> yeah 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 streeter's gotten me a lot of things here and there so so yeah i mean that that's like a big part of it is yeah you get that time to finally like put everything together and like really diagnose a car fix things you know whatever Especially if you do have like a nice garage and you can put the, you know, you can take care of fixing little things. Like right now I'm generally refreshing the car because, you know, it's just been beat throughout them this year. So, yeah, I, I know how that is. I saw, I saw your recent post, but yeah, <laughs> but I'm like, I should probably refresh. Oh, there's an event this week. That's the hard part about California exactly. is like, we, yeah. we can just, we can just keep going until it turns Ooh. into a B- abisu missile yeah that's a that's a rough life and i i understand that's that's it's not easy <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like should i pay my bumpers and put them on it, yeah. yeah i probably should <laughs> but just just get to the event but but then i'm also jealous right because i haven't drifted since october and i'm not going to drift until May- i'm not even going to drive the car until almost april if not April, right? So like Whoa. that part kind of sucks. Which is why yeah. we wanted to go to New Year's Eve is because it's just like you know what we never drive in the winter time. The cars yeah. don't need to do anything. Let's just take them, take them over there and destroy and bring them back, and then we have four months to fix it, right? Yeah, it was like it was like fifty five degrees, so it would have been like a nice warm vacation for you guys. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. I mean, not like uh, last time I was in California. It was cold and raining the entire damn time at for Special Stage West. I was like, what is this? Yeah. It's kinda, it was kind of terrible. Especially yeah. in LA. Like, LA was not having it. Not yeah, having you guys it. came like at the worst time. Like I like yeah. my you know, my brother, my brother and my mom for now live in LA. And mm-hmm. like they were like complaining to me that week about like how bad the weather was. And I was like, oh, yeah. right. all the all the all the Midwest guys that are out here, like everyone like flew in. It's just like trash. Cause usually yeah. it's like you know winter time it's like it's like january and it's like you know 70 degrees out and you're like at the you know taco cart at you know 11 yeah. o'clock at night and all hanging out and stuff yeah, yeah it wasn't well there'll be plenty more of that in the future i hope so i do hope so 
I'll make it work one way or another. Got to get my way back out there. You got to got to do some driving out there. That's the hope. Yeah. But we'll see. You doing yeah. anything crazy to your car? I'm trying to think of. Um, I yesterday just uh, put in a. It's a. I have a stock manifold, exhaust manifold, but I had Luke Wright um, essentially like put a bung for external gate. So Ooh. I'm gonna shoot some flames out the hood because I'm Man. bottom out, so it's easier just to go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that works. Be cool. Fancy, not bad. Yeah. It'll sound good. Should make it fancier. I was having a bunch of issues with like I was like losing boost because I think the wastegate was the stock wastegate can only hold oh. like 16 pounds or something and so it'll get hit uh, like 18 psi with the bigger turbo and it'll just blow open because uh, like, the, okay. the internals are larger so it's just like it can't handle the pressure okay got so it, got it. I mean now yeah. I can now I can make more boost and now I'm gonna put it on a real dyno and actually see what it makes because the other dyno oh, I had did. it on like yeah I'm 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 curious. People say it feels like a lot, and then Julian drove it. And he's like, mm, I don't know. So, <laughs> I mean, it's all whatever. But hey, it'll work. The external yeah. wastegate is great. It's a good thing. That was the best thing I did to the SR because I was I ran into a lot of just boost creep issues with my SR, just generally. Ever since yeah. I had twenty eight sixty one. So, I was, it, so like on skid pads, it would fall off after like it would hit 14 pounds and or it hit 18 pounds and peak and then just blow open and then mm-hmm. on the big track because the opening was so small like mm-hmm. going into fourth i would watch it it would creep up to like 20 psi when i'm going oh, on the street i'm like mm. <laughs> yeah yeah that's... fuck it <laughs> It's a Jay Z. I mean, that's the one good thing about him. They I'm like, I'm. I was like, I'm gonna shift in a second anyway. Like, yeah, you know, fine. it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll survive. What about you? Yeah. you? Any any big plans? I mean, it's mainly refresh everything. Like, just get fixed arrow. Put it that way. Like newer arrow and fixed arrow little bits. Hopefully, get some thrash seats. So waiting on you stuff on that. So I'll have that done. What else am I doing? Just doing cleaning up some wiring stuff. I hate wiring it's with a passion. So I got to do that. Maybe a I new was, switch panel. I was closer to help you out. Yeah, yeah. That's it's all good. Luckily, I got somebody doing I'm not doing any wiring stuff. I hate wiring. Nothing related <laughs> to it. So, yeah. I feel like that's a pretty common feeling. Yeah, it's, yeah, I don't know why you like it. <laughs> or do you, wait, do you like it or do you just do it because you know how? Um, hmm. <laughs> I guess, I guess I, I guess I enjoy doing it because I feel like I'm confident at it. Okay. Uh, but when it comes to, I don't know how to explain it. Like it, it's, it's time consuming and I'm not that good at it. Like, you know, I don't do it all the time. Like I don't work at our shop and wire up harnesses or anything. Like it's, I'm yeah. just like I used to do car audio and wire up stereos and stuff and it's all okay. kind of the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, a little more complicated, but I feel like I it's know. one of those things that at least especially for on your own car, if you know exactly what's what you've done, like I guess if you put it together then it's just like really easy to diagnose, right? And I think I mean that's yeah. why I just don't like wiring. It's just because trying to diagnose it to me is a pain like because I didn't yeah. do it right. So yeah. Know, in theory, well, my harness is pretty basic. So it's pretty easy, especially you know, as a chassis. Wiring's tough because it's like uh like if you're looking for a vacuum leak, mm-hmm. you just like you can smoke test it. Or there's yeah. like or you, you know, there's there's a lot of tricks that people have mm-hmm. um that are like physical that you can actually see. Yeah. Uh electricity is like very like theoretical you know what i mean it's like it's not yeah there isn't like a vis- there's no visual that the electricity is flowing yeah no, that's true. Like, yeah it's not like oil or you know pretty much anything else mechanical it's like it's it's like it's like it's like water it's like water rushing through pipes but there's no water like you can't see the water it's invisible yeah yeah that makes sense yeah it does make it difficult and then it's going all over the damn place <laughs> like yeah. Yeah. it's just like yeah yeah i just I, I can't i just want that's the one part that i'm just like here's my money 
do something. <laughs> make it make it work, please. <laughs> so I mean everybody everybody on like I don't know about your team, but like everybody on our team kind of like has something they're good at. Oh, we're and terrible there's, like, there's at everything. Some, there's some... <laughs> <laughs> we are terrible at everything, trust me. Ilya is probably the only like well, actually Lee, Lee's pretty Lee, Lee and Ilya are the two competent ones. Me, Josh, and Chubb just don't know anything. We don't care to want to know anything. Basic stuff, yeah, sure, why not? But nope. I try to work on my car as little as possible. I try. I I enjoy I don't know, like you do you work on a computer all day? Yeah, yeah. Does it like I, maybe I'm maybe I'm weird. I used to hate working on my car when I worked on cars for my job. Like mm-hmm. when I was a car audio installer and I'd get off work and I'd be like, like, I don't want to yeah. change a tie rod. That sounds terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I'm like, you know, responding to Slack messages until my eyes bleed. And like, <laughs> now you just want to get away. I'm I mean, like, so it's... I'm like, I don't want to look at my phone. I don't want anyone to ask me a question. Like, I'm just going to go and it's going to be like me and this stupid car. And then, of course, I got to stand alone. And now I'm there with like the computer, like. <laughs> what, can, what can i make what can i make the dash say all right okay that's fair i mean there's definitely you know there is a sense of accomplishment that i do appreciate with the car like when you do have something that you have to do and you complete it and like i'm just very lucky that i you know s13 is you've had an s13 it's they're the easiest things to work on in all honestly yeah. like it's usually everything is held on by two bolt like basically yeah. and they're, <laughs> almost they're, everything and they're both 10 mil yeah exactly right (laughs) so for the most part like i don't mind dealing with s13s and i mean again going back to like how long we've been into all this right like my car isn't done but it's kind of done like now it's just like minor things and then just replacing old stuff is where i'm at right now you know obviously like at some point i do want to change the turbo right but like that's easy because now i'm v-band so that's really easy to do right so like stuff like that so yeah. yeah, I've I've been little by little making the car even easier to service and just thinking of all the things that have broken over the years or things that do break. So like it's just I guess I'm wiser when I'm putting together the car now. Yeah. <laughs> so I try to make it as simple as possible. Yeah, I that's see. how you drive a lot. Yeah, basically. <laughs> it's the only way. Make it as simple as possible. Yeah, I think like I think you're you're driving since because the first time I went to Final Bout was Final Bout 2, your mm-hmm. driving between then and now has been like in like an insane change. And like, yeah, yeah, it's is it because changed. people are like pushing each other more locally, or is like the you know, is, is it just because you've been doing it so long? And I don't know, um, I definitely am the type that learns by watching, like, not watching necessarily, but just like by being with people or driving with people. I think what's helped a lot also is just driving with other, like not even just locally, right? Like driving with people like the Julians and Jasons and all that in the world and like having people on my team that are like, you know, we have it like, it changes on who's maybe quote unquote best, right? Like we just keep upping each other. Like one person's like, oh shit, you're like gotten way better. And then it's like, oh no, no, you are right. Like that type of thing. But like driving, other people also because to me it's one of those i can do anything somebody else can kind of thing so like if i see somebody that's driving right. like way better it's just like well it's i gotta figure out how to do it right and i like that yeah one way or another i'll figure it out kind of thing so that's helped a lot like you know I, i'm sure julian has said this a lot in terms of jason being ridiculously fast so it was like, well, shit, how the hell am I going to keep up with this guy? So I had to figure it out, right? <laughs> to figure out how to keep up with Jason. Yeah, those, those guys, those guys, yeah. And then, and it's, and it's not just like throw power at your car or like no. try and like <laughs> not reconfigure all. stuff. It's like, how, how do they keep getting the jump on me? Because like I would do that. I'd, I'd, you know, I'd add power <laughs> and then I'd add like grip and I'd be like, nope that's not it like you know like it's like it's it's better it's closer yeah yeah I'd be like i'd be like no no no. there's something there's something i'm doing wrong here like, yeah what is that yeah it's 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 a weird thing but little by little and like it just yeah it just ups and that was one of my only not regret but the only thing that i did miss about this year is so well you guys don't really know much about the grid life events because they're more like this side of the mississippi based but they yeah. 
I I'm, do like going. I want to make those. it to one of those. Yeah, you definitely should. They're fun. They're definitely interesting. Like, it depends on which ones. Like, obviously, the only tricky part is like the tracks that they use typically are are not as they're they're road courses, right? So like, you know, unless if you're yeah. really high horsepower, there's kind of whatever. But I do like going to them because they're usually filled with the pro car, not pro cars, but the pro guys bring their demo cars, which are almost the same as their pro cars. And like, again, in that yeah. whole concept of Herzberg's like my shitty 600 horsepower car, you're like, ex- yeah, exactly. And it, it just goes back to the concept of like, okay, why I should be able to keep up with this one way or another, because it's drifting is drifting, right? Like, yeah, yeah obviously we're running at the some same point, tires. Like, exactly. Yeah. So like the one place and like most of the tracks that they use are like fourth gear tracks. I'm not gonna be able to keep up with them at that type of thing. Like, and I don't expect to, but they had one at a track in at Pikes Peak, Pikes Peak International Raceway, which is like a third gear track, third and second gear track. And I was like, okay, I think I should be able to keep up with them at that, but I I forget why I couldn't make it. But that is my only one regret because I did want to like put myself up against them. And then it'll be another one of those, how do I get better? Let me try and keep up with Vaughn Gittin and his whatever crazy 800 horsepower mustang right like i'll figure it out (laughs) one way or another i'll figure it out you you just gotta ruin the daily man yeah (laughs) (laughs) no i'm not i mean i got wheels for the daily but i haven't put them on yet did you yeah yeah, yeah. (laughs) well so i got work m8rs but then because i don't know anything about mustangs even though i own one um they are m14 for the the studs and most japanese wheels are m12 so it's like son of a bitch <laughs> i was like now i gotta drill these wheels uh... wheels out yeah so yeah i gotta drill them out but like if it was my s13 i'd be like yeah let me just go get my little drill bit and, and do this but it's like it's like my daily and i'm yeah. like ah, yeah 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 i yeah, really yeah. want to do this and i just like i gotta <laughs> do this right so it is what it is. Uh, I love I I love that you said that because I feel like people probably assume since you have like a super nice car that you're like very meticulous on like working on it. The fact that you said that you'd probably just like ream out a set of wheels mm-hmm. that are like, you know, I'm yeah. I'm right there with you. I'm like yeah, hammering yeah. lips. I'm like I have like a big stack of lips and <laughs> barrels that I've like pulled off other wheels, and I'll be like, yeah. well, if I bend one, I'm like uh i think i could fix that one <laughs> yeah exactly that's like, that's that's how i do it too i mean that's the one thing i do love like, about three piece wheels is i've never cracked one so i've bent a shit ton of them but yeah, i always have a bent. hammer in my car yeah i've got a i've got a, a hammer yeah. in my car just for that reason and, you yeah. know hit it just until like it stops hissing. Shop with like <laughs> exactly yeah, it works yeah throw some cardboard down Yep. Put on exactly. some, you know, whatever, whatever music makes you angry, and and, and hammer get away. the big hammer. Yeah, I haven't had to bust yeah. out a blowtorch yet, so that means I haven't bent them hard enough. But so far, a couple bolt, yeah. couple. I try couple not to do that because I feel like if you like heat, I feel like if you heat them and bring them back, true. then they like they get a little softer. True. True. Yeah. That's just I don't know. I think that's yeah. my own paranoia. No, you're you're probably but right. You know, it is what it is. But well, you know, at, some... at, at that point, if it gets that bad, I'll call up and just get new lips. I guess if it comes to that point, because luckily that's what two hundred bucks. There's, def- I've definitely learned how much time it is like worth to to try and like fix a bent wheel. I like one time. One time I spent like an entire like day and a half trying to fix a lip because it was being cheap. And I'm just Damn. like, oh. you just like call. Yeah, it was that know. bad. What did you do? <laughs> or is this after the crash? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I exploded a, a CR Kai. It was actually Julian's. Ah, uh, well, good job. Let me good borrow job. those wheels for that event. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Good job. Oops. Yeah. Hey, He's man. cool about it. We just like we just found some other ones and made it made it make sense. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's it's a wheel. You got to have team wheels. Team wheels, I feel like, is a very important thing. At least, like, somebody needs to always have <laughs> spare fronts is one thing that we learned, at least in Pro Seed. That's right. Yeah. That's you right. Yeah, yeah, we do that, too. To. Yeah, you got to. Because that's yeah. the worst there's thing. The, like, the, yeah. Actually, 
the spare front is the other side of the, <laughs> the CR guy. <laughs> See, that works <laughs> with my tire on it from that event, and it's in the back of the truck every time when, when we go to like long, way, far away. Events. There you go. Yeah, it's it's a very important. It's like the it's like the like you don't you don't want it, but it's there. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, it's the don't it's the don't fuck up. With <laughs> it is. It's literally like a cone <laughs> of shame. It's a cone of shame that you're gonna have, but it's there. <laughs> you guys should like spray it a weird color or something. Just be like, this is what you get. Make it really like, ugly. Oh. <laughs> Just make it really ugly for whatever reason. Be like, well, that's what you get. But that's I didn't. Do I also like. I'm really happy you did that like Q and A on Instagram yesterday because now I have all these questions for this. <laughs> I don't usually like. I don't. <laughs> you don't prepare for these interviews. <laughs> no, not really. I mean, um, I, I should, but yeah, am, am I lazy? Works. I don't know. It's. It's more like uh, I just don't I, I don't like doing the question thing because I feel like it like derails the conversation a lot. I don't know. Like yeah. I did a couple podcasts where they like asked me questions and it was always like one, it was the questions that I get asked all the time. Two, it was like it felt like I wasn't having a conversation with somebody anymore. Like mm-hmm. I felt like I was yeah. like talking to the people of the internet, which I don't really want yeah. to do. Like, you know, I don't know how to explain it. No, yeah. I, I see what you mean. I mean, like, um, we did our thing for a little while, and like, it yeah. depends on the person, it depends on the guest, and it depends on the question, too, right? Like, some questions yeah. are simple yes or no's, <laughs> and it's just like, okay, cool. I'm just, we're done here. I'm just super ADD, and I, it like, it like distracts me too much, and then I'm like, uh, okay, okay, anyway, I don't know. That's I can't fair. like plan ahead. I just, I just, I'm better, like, you know, shit flying yeah. at me. I'd be like, oh, I think this, you know? I don't know. I don't yeah, know how to explain yeah, yeah. it. That works. But uh, yeah, that works. so I, I always knew that like the hood on your car was like super special, but I didn't know it was like one of one and like buy has the other one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah how yeah. did you come across that thing? And also, why do you try and push Jason's door in with it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, so okay, so the way Couldn't that you get like works. a slightly less rare hood for that. <laughs> I mean, it's you got that. And that's also part of it too, right? Like, I feel like having that hood. I don't know. Like for some people, they'd be like, "No, I'm just not gonna try that hard." But I don't know. I I feel it's, it's like a challenge. It's like a weird challenge to try and like really push the shit out of like myself and not destroy I re- it because I know I if I destroy the shit it, out I'm of that symbol. It. Yeah, so I I try I it. It, it helps. It. it helps. But yeah. So anyway, so the story of the hood. Um, so by had like, he had his one or whatever. And at the time I was working for TF and like, he had his one on his blue S15 and he had that. For, Hold on. Did know, everyone in, did everyone in Chicago work at TF at one point? Yes. Like, yes. <laughs> okay. Honestly. Yes. It's literally like a rite of passage for anybody that like, like, you know, maybe about 10 years ago, like anybody in the drift community, if they didn't work there, they at least spent several hours a day there like it was just the, is, the is place TF to the be. racers the racers edge of chicago 100 yes. one <laughs> no one thousand percent like honestly tf is like the only reason why chicago drift community is into what we're into and why we like arrow and why we like not the only but they're the only reason why we've been able to do it right like because back then yeah. there wasn't a, like origin was one of the first real companies that would have been importing maybe like having actually a lot in the u.s i think maybe i don't know i don't know if anybody like there was you know like a lot of yeah. knockoff kits in the u.s but i don't yeah. know if origin might have been the first one but anyway so i was working at tf and they this was right around when origin was starting and origin wanted origin japan wanted to have demo cars in the u.s so they were just like D drug at the time was a company that was doing print magic with the colors and all that kind of stuff. So they're like, perfect. We're going to make these two hoods and we're going to send them to you. And they're going to be the wave hood or whatever. It's slightly different than the one that's on buys car. Like buys version is a little bit, mm, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's less zoomed in. If you see it, you'll be able to tell mm. them there's like a little bit, there's a couple little additions on buys hood. Like there's this Japanese scroll that's on there. That's on the actual print, but it's not on ours. So they sent two. They sent one for an S13 and they sent one for an 86. And TF made, I don't know if you've ever seen, there's, they made they painted the cars white, like both the 86 and the S13 white. 
and they were just like TF demo cars. And it was Dave Ruska, who now lives in Japan. He went by Dorimon Dave. It was his S13. And then it was this guy, Eric, who actually is the guy that does all my wiring, his S13. So, or Dave's 8.6, sorry, and Eric's S13. So they had those demo cars for a little while. They did a little bit of drifting here and there. And then at some point, they both wanted to change up their cars and Eric was getting rid of his car with S13 and I was working at TF and I sold the S13 hood actually to some Minnesota guys. I was just so like, it was weird. I I don't know. I sold it to them and and they ended up getting it and it went on this guy Lee's car. It was a pink S13. Maybe you've seen it works and it works nine pink S13. He had it. And then he sold it to his friend who was on his team at a green S13. And then it got sold to another guy on the same team. So it was literally in the same team TMF in Minnesota. They just like passed it around themselves for a couple of years and then ended up on this orange S13. And then I got it from that guy, Dennis, who had it on his orange S13 and I've had it since. So like, it just like stuck with the family. Well, so, so the funny part is maybe you don't know this part, but the orange S13 it got stolen from him like that and a bunch of parts got stolen off of his car and like uh, it was all over Zilvia of just like yo like great wave hood stolen like you can't sell the thing it's impossible to try and sell it but yeah, i guess like the whoa. guy that yeah the guy that stole it um he just was like a a car thief he had a they ended up finding his like storage facility that just had a bunch of stolen car parts in it like not just from sylvia's but the rest of teams but from like hondas etc 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 so yeah. like there's a photo of it with like a police tag and everything recovered and then dennis got it back and yeah and, and I got it so they that. got it back he got it back because they found the hood because he obviously he can't yeah. sell it ever I don't know how exactly how they found it. I, they, I don't think they found it from because of the hood in particular, but they just, yeah. they, after, you know, it had been years of this guy apparently just stealing and stripping cars, stealing and stripping, stealing, stripping cars. And eventually they caught him. So they caught him and returned all the stuff. So yeah. That's then, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So it is now mine. I've crashed it once already, which sucked <laughs> like literally day one of drifting with it. And I'm like, got to be kidding me oh yeah it was probably the most (laughs) annoying annoying day of my life to say the least well i mean you already did it once so it's like you know yeah yeah yeah. i've i've there's the one time where i thought i was i thought i ruined it because me and josh were drifting at like at autobahn which is like a third gear track and you know i did the whole dive into josh and hit his rear quarter and then I just saw the hood like shift up and swing out. And I was like, oh, it's like, I think I just fucked this whole thing. up. <laughs> but no, it ended up being fine. It just broke all the mounts. And I was just like, oh, OK. All right. Like I broke the fender. I broke the mounts and broke a bunch of other stuff. But the hood was fine. I was like, cool. That's pretty. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty convenient. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how that worked. Like not even a scratch on the hood after that hit. So I was just like, OK, it just everything else broke. <laughs> Is there, is there, I mean, is there anything in, in drifting that you like, I feel like, so you, you were part of Final Bout, you guys like started this whole kind of like shift or wave, I guess it's more of a wave, like, yeah. like, wait, well, I don't know, waves, I don't know, I don't know what to, I don't know what to call it, but it's, it's definitely a thing and it's here to stay, right? Like, yeah, uh, you know, obviously you've kind of drifted all over the States, like, is there anywhere that like, I don't know. Is there anything that you haven't done or anywhere that you want to go? And you guys have drifted in Japan, like kind of. Yeah. I mean, so there's definitely still places in the U S that I want to drive. Like one, I want to go back to English town. So I I went to English town, I don't know, like 10 years ago or something like that. So I want to go back at some point. Um, Like road Atlanta was always one of the places that I always want to drive. I got to do that. I still want to do Thunder Hill. Like that's definitely on there. Eventually want to, drift in like vancouver area i don't even know what's up in that area to be honest though but i do want to go up there (laughs) just because i mean i've done toronto i've drifted in toronto but the other thing i do want to do but like both julian and jason will try and talk me out of it is take my car there to japan 
they they have mentioned of how much of a pain in the ass of that whole situation was, but I'm stubborn and I still want to do it. <laughs> just 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 do it over winter. Y- yeah, I mean that would good. be a thing. Yeah. yeah, I mean like logically, if things would work out, I would send the car to California and you know do some things in California with it, and then from there to japan and i've looked into it already and i've like priced some things out and blah 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 and the most the most logical thing is i got to get it to california first right like got to get it over in that general region but like my particular ideal goal would be to like street drive through tokyo with the car we figure that out too like how to drive them and like you can drive them legally technically technically speaking really yeah there's like a I, there's like I a mean... thing you got to do Honestly, I would, I would love to, sh- I would love to ship my car to Japan. Yeah, like I, logically, like, I, just, I, have, logically I have so much tough. making up to do for how trash I was <laughs> when I got to drive there that I like, I like, I feel like I need to redeem myself. Yeah, that's the same with me. To be honest, like, yeah, I've driven in Japan now, what, like twice at Nico and at Ebis, and like it was great, but I. I felt, especially this last time we were there for a competition that Hibino was judging and like they had nothing but great words to say about our driving, but all of us were like, this is not our driving. This isn't even fucking yeah. close to how we drive. Like they were just, yeah, they, yeah. I, apparently they told like all the local Japanese, cause we were in the beginner class or like, Hey, all you beginners, like these random Americans showed up and did better than you. And I was just like, we did shitty, like for what we can do. Right. <laughs> like, and I'm just like, yeah, damn. Yeah. I'm like, I re- and I'm sure Julian's probably thought the same thing. Like every time he's been there, he's had car problems, right? But like, he knows he could do better he's, than that. He's he's slowly getting more and more like, it's like I think it's become like a crazy like fixation of his to go back there and like actually drive how he feels that he can drive. Oh yeah, no, that like, I, he's, he's like, I'm it's like him. like he like literally <laughs> cannot wait for that like for the border to open so you can go back and like keep driving and like you know like yeah. you know assume no, I... you know, assume his final form or whatever you want to call it <laughs> i feel him i i and like jason like jason jason jason's building ryan kato's yeah. old hatch uh-huh. to ship over there and so that's, that's got me smart. thinking that's the smart Jason is yeah. a smart human being, which is why he's still in school and why he's still a smart man. Because that is a smart way to do it. Is like I think just he's about go- I think he's about to graduate or he graduated. Uh, okay. I yeah. He's close. Yeah, he's like looking for internship. I don't know. That's dope. He's, okay. Yeah, he's a smart dude. He's got a puppy. He's got a puppy uh, named Nismo. Okay. Oh, all right. There we go. Nice yeah, little puppy. I was, I was over there. Yeah. Okay. anyway but yeah totally unrelated yeah i mean that's all right yeah that's that's <laughs> what we're doing here but yeah but no that the way he's doing it is logical the whole ship it there and ship it back is kind of the it's a waste of money but i don't know i i my i want to be stubborn and i just want to do it once and like i want to go when you were there did you because you guys don't spend much time in tokyo at all do you uh, did I'm, you I'm ever go to the lowrider meets on Saturday nights? You no, should have, it's so every yeah. Saturday night it basically in Shibuya by Tower Records, like around it's like not where the crossing is, but next to it, like maybe like a block down. Yeah. They do like a lowrider. It's basically they'll cruise around, they'll drive around, drive around, and then eventually they park up on the street by one of the parks out there. And then they'll just, you know, yeah. do their thing. But like drifters show up and guys in GTRs and supercars show up. And like, I went last, I went on a solo trip two years ago and Ryohe took me in. Like, we were just driving up and down with him and one of the other freeze guys. And I was just like, this is the coolest thing. Like, you're not doing it, you're just cruising around. But like, you just cruise around and people just sit around and take pictures and things. And like, it's cool. I want to do yeah. it. Yeah. I, I would like to do that. I feel like you guys got the cool streeting experience that I'm still <sighs> were you? having. I don't know. I don't know how much you can talk about uh, that. I wasn't there. You I weren't, well, no, you weren't. I'm talking about when I thought you weren't there when Julian went because Julian went, didn't he? I know he can't talk about that either. I mean, I can talk about ours, but yeah. kind of. Ours is, yeah. there's a, they basically gave us the statute of limitations. Like, they're like, after a year, feel free to post it if you want. I I never did, but like they were like feel free to post after a year. Yeah. But basically, 
it was the coolest experience. Well, the first time I went to Japan, actually, with Toge Factory, we went to we went to a Toge as well. But this time was a little bit cooler because there was like a large group of people, and like yeah, we were there, there with Magician. We were there with the Freeze guys. We were there with Sexy Knights. We were there with a lot of people, and like. Yeah, it was pretty cool, I have to say the least. And we went to Hakone, so like we were out and about there. But yeah, it was cool. It was. I yeah, I've heard uh, some stories. Yeah, it's, it's street drifting. Anatoge is at it. It's, it's mind blowing. That's another thing I would like to do with my car potentially, depending if I don't go to jail or something. I don't know how that works. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> that side of things. I think if I think if you're with the right people like we were, I think that you'll be okay. <laughs> From what I understand, the toge isn't. I mean, it's still street driving has been getting like not not so easy out there, especially like like the the docks and all those types of things. From what I hear, but like yeah. I think toge still for the most part is it's okay. I think generally speaking, you can get away with it. But who knows? I don't want to do it though. I want to go back and check it out, but I know the ironic part for me, we went, me, Josh, and Mary Lou, we went snowboarding in the morning, and then we went street drifting at night, which was like the coolest. Like you know how people say you can surf and ski in the same same day in California and like Tahoe or whatever, or that type of thing. That's how I felt. I felt like snowboarding in the day and in street drift at night is like an epic day, like the perfect day. That was fantastic. I want to do it again. That's a that's a pretty that's a pretty good day right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, I was exhausted because it was a four a.m. to six a.m. kind of day, so like twenty six hours. But you know, it is what it is. Do what you gotta do. I can't complain. It's a pretty long day. But yeah. I think yeah, uh, you know I think when you're in Japan, you're, like break, you you're breaking up. Oh. I think you're breaking you're internet. breaking up a little bit. Is my internet yeah. trapping out? All right. Now I have sat down. So is it any That's better. That's better. We're good. Okay. All right. So that's what happens down here. At least it's closer to my router. I'm sorry, dude. I'm just... Sorry, sorry. Oh, jeez. Huh? It's okay. <laughs> what? It's it's a okay. Right. So so now that we got the technical um, difficulties out of the way. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So you were you were never on. Or were you on Risky Devil? And then you were on Grip Gambler, which was like oh, like before Risky Devil, right? Yeah. So like the guys that I was telling you earlier about with Crab and and Rob, well, not necessarily Rob, but Crab and Jesse, they were on Grip Gambler. Basically, it was pretty much shortly after, after they took me street drifting once. And then from that point on, so Crab used to live in Japan. He, used to live, he was a military brat. Well, there for a while so he had a bunch of option videos so we used to just go to his house and or not his house but this other guy's house and just watch option videos every day all day and then that's how we eventually formed grip gambler and then risky devil still hadn't started at that point but like they started maybe like two or three years after that i think i believe so like then we like, I was never part of them. I was just friends with them. Like, I'd always been friends with, like, Josh, Ilya, AJ, all those guys. Like, I'd known Josh for a little while just because he was, like, always into, like, the car life and all that type of thing. And I know Chab and, as well. But, yeah, we were just you know, friends until eventually one day we were just like, let's do Proceed. And because, like, basically everybody else in Grip Gambler just kind of stopped drifting, kind of. I just kind of went on with different ways and doing different things and I still have a grip gambler and they're still around, they, but just not in the drift world anymore. Like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do the, yeah, that's kind of what Ilya was saying. It was like, there's different groups that all did different stuff. And then uh, like proceed was just like, we know exactly what we want to do. This is it. We're going to do that. So that's cool. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It was like around, 
it was it was a year before Final Bout. So like it wasn't even I know a lot of people sometimes think it was like we formed it because of Final Bout, but it was we formed it technically it was when my car was blue. Like we formed it then at that point because they just, you know, it, they they frisky devil for, you know, for their reasons and you know, I was, they, we just had always been hanging out, like just the five of us just hung out all the time regardless. And then one day they were just like, yo, let's let's do this, right? Because I think first they talked about like the whole Risky Devil leaving thing and then they came to me and they were just, yo, we're doing this thing. You want to be part of it? And I was like, all right. And then we did it. One, yeah. And then turned in yeah. to proceed. And then you put you know roses now. on your cars and... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a whole process. Like trying to, like, I'm sure you know this, but like trying to get cars painted the same color all in time and we debuted at the first grid life like that whole like it was like a whole thing getting the vinyl done getting that like that was a pain in the ass the plan let me tell you and to get done and ready and like all five running and good i was a jerk at first i was like i'm not painting my car red like <laughs> you don't want to do it why I not like, how am i was like how am i was like how am i how am i supposed to stand out if we all have the same color car like I'm just gonna get tagged as Julian, and then like I was younger, you know. I was like, no, I was no. young. I was still, I was still on a, I was still on the hunt for some clout, you know. Like, oh yeah, there you go. No, was, I feel it you. Like, it was like a. I I definitely feel, it. and that's why we did the roof thing. Like we all did different roof colors because, like, you know, obviously those guys like red, generally speaking. And like this is partially why we picked gray is yeah. because it was the most boring color that you could think of. <laughs> like it was like everyone's everyone's going to hate it, so just do it right. And then we just did accent colors. Yeah. And it was like all right, but you know, but obviously like the only ones that are left in that color now are me, Chab, and kind of sort of Lee. Lee's color is like it is still gray, but it's a little different. It's it's yeah. technically the proper version of it technically but you know it is what it is but yeah. it worked for well, josh, has, josh has been through like three cars since then yeah actually yeah yeah basically hey you gotta change it up every time you gotta switch yeah. up to random ass car choice he was like uh going back i'm done <laughs> yeah, I'm getting 180 again, or I'm getting I'm getting a hatch again. Yeah, the well, first from him, and obviously, like, yeah, whenever you have him, he can tell you his story. But like, it was the one, the uh, yeah, it was the gray car, the car that was the proceed car. He didn't crash it, but tension rod broke, and it wrecked the chassis, like unsafely wrecked the chassis. So that's when he it was like, all right, I gotta get a new chassis anyway. So. And then that's just how it yeah, changed. But then he went S14 and yeah, didn't like it. And then went back to S13. Actually, the 14 came from you. Well, it used to be from your area. It used to be in NorCal. It was uh, huh. this kid. Uh, wow, why am I forgetting his name? But he's from NorCal. He used to canyon run it all the time. Back in the day, back, 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 huh. back, back in the day. But this kid, I can't remember his name anymore. Uh, I feel bad forgetting his name. But anyways, but yeah, it was from there. And then yeah, he just didn't like it and went back to 180. Every now and then, you know, you know how it is when you want to change up cars. Right. Would you ever? Would you ever change from the E36? To... Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I do next, but. I, I tried to buy a uh, Max from Gold Star's shell today, and he's like already oh. sold. I'm like, fuck. Damn, he yeah. sold that thing yeah, already. Yeah. Damn. I was like, wow. I want it. I literally, he, I saw it. I commented. I was like, I want it because you know I'm, yeah. I'm like working on this thing where I might have like a little more space to store a car mm -hmm. too. So yeah, I was like, I was like, yeah, that would have been a good deal for that. Yeah, if you got the space, that's a, yeah, that's a dilemma. There's good deals that pop up from like friends and stuff, right? But like. I don't have a place anywhere to keep it. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, that would have been that would have been a good send to Japan car. That's Talking what I was gonna do. Yeah, that would have been a real That's good. What one. I was gonna do, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell Max to uh, screw up, screw whoever's trying to buy it. But, you know. I know who's. I know who we already uh, said he'd sell it to. I don't. Uh, wanna, I don't want to ruffle any feathers, but you know. Do you like the person yeah. he's gonna sell it to, though? Do you really like the person? Yeah, he's cool. 
Is he? I mean, now that he bought the car, no. I can't <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah, I was, I'm gonna. I was gonna say, is he you drifting in Japan cool, or is he just kind of cool? <laughs> What's cooler to you? <laughs> uh, he's he's one of, he's one of the local guys, you know. Uh, all right, all right. I don't want right. to. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to make waves. All right, fair you enough. Know, it's a. <laughs> But if he buys it and doesn't do anything with it and then sells it for more money, I'm going to do bad things. Okay, that's fair. Just letting you know if you watch this. If that's, <laughs> if that's what you do. That's, that's acceptable. That's fairly acceptable. But, yeah, I don't know. Uh, You'll how figure about you, it man? out. You ever, you ever switch it up? Would you ever switch up chassis? Um, I wouldn't you mind. Ever? Like... Uh, realistically i'd probably get a hatch sadly <laughs> I, I know there's something about <laughs> s13s that i like and i'm just getting so grown accustomed to it but like there's times when i do want something rb powered or yeah or even 2j powered to be honest but i don't know what you gotta get that more you gotta win the lottery before you get that mark for super you want uh, yeah that dream is not dead but it's my my cheap side refuses Dying to pay the amount day. of money. Yeah, basically. It's like it's like even if I had the money, it's one of those it's like this is just an irresponsible like purchase. It's like, you know, how people are selling S thirteens for stupid amounts of money right now. It's just like, listen, there's no re- no way anybody wants an S thirteen that bad that you'd pay ten thousand for, you know, a stock S thirteen. But that's what it feels yeah. like. I- I'm I'm without a doubt gonna buy an S3, SC300 and park it somewhere. Like I, I still, I know that they're not good, the best. Drift no, I, they're I was, like, they're heavy. I was literally about to say that that is one chassis that I would get as my substitute for the Supra. They're not. Have you ever drifted one? Uh. Uh-uh. They are fantastic. I don't know if anybody's ever told you that they're not good. They are a fantastic car to drift. Like really, really, yeah. So I drifted. One of our friends, he was at one of the final bouts. He had a white SC. His name is Billy. Um, now it's got a 1J VDTI in it. But before when I drifted, it had whatever the – and it had an A2J in it. And I drove it, and I, yeah. I was just like, this feels amazing. Like, it actually felt really good. It's heavy, but it wasn't that bad. Like, and his wasn't anything yeah. special, an A2J. So I like them. So I don't know. Okay. That is a possibility of me – not you know like my super substitute because it's a little bit easier to get a little bit easier to handle so why not yeah so yeah, i might, say I might, go I for know. it yeah yeah not bad. Well, i need it i kind of i kind of want to import a sore they're not like terribly expensive i mean well yeah. maybe now it's like but... one of those cars where i just feel like that's like not a car that has like crazy tax on it you know yeah yeah i think you're right maybe it does yeah i don't know maybe i shouldn't say this on here well no i know (laughs) i mean a friend of mine just bought a he he was trying to build a us dm1 right and like he like ended up getting he went through this whole mess and he ended up buying a jdm1 and like his i can't remember how much he bought it for but it wasn't like terrible so i think it's a fair it's a fair option I might, I might, I might do it, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm start looking into that. Yeah, might yeah. start looking into that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not a, it's not a bad idea. Again, if I had space, I'd try and do that sooner or later. But imagine one of those things, you know, six, seven hundred horsepower. Like, why not? Never yeah. Know. Yeah. Never know. I, I think I, I could. I think, I I think part of my that. reason. I think part of the reason why I want one is because. So I have a friend that has a sore. I don't know if I got this, but he has uh, Ueno's sore bumpers. And they're in my house. They're in my basement because he needed to store them somewhere. So every time I'm working out in my basement, I see them. So that's probably why I want the sore because I see these bumpers. And I'm just like, all right. <laughs> I don't know. It's a cool car. I fuck with yeah. it. There's a there's a lot of them out there. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out like what's next. I think I think like obviously, you know, like FRS, BRZ, GT86. That's gonna be like pretty popular. Yeah. Z's yeah. I guess will always be popular. Yeah. I got a I got a rental car with the uh, I forgot what it's called. They call it like the baby the baby R34 
or R thirty five motor. It's like the it's like the V V something thirty, not thirty eight V. Oh, um, are you talking about like in the Nissan Cube or whatever, or no? Yeah. No, the one that comes in like the Infinity Q50 or Q60. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't remember. Like a, it's essentially like a three-liter version of the of the R35. Motor. Yeah, people are I, talking about how that's like a new swap that people are going to start doing, and that I got a hmm. rental car with that. Yeah, that thing was fast, man. I was like, this might be faster than my drift car. <laughs> Those the Q50 Q60 market is insane because we have. I don't know the shop AMS, but AMS, yeah. yeah. So, you know, they did Evos back in the day, then they switched to GTRs and like now they do Lambos and also in the Q60s and Q50s and all that. Like they flash and blah, 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 all the yeah. flash and like they're really easy to flash. And those things are insane. Like the Red Sport Q60, the Red Sport Q60 flash, can, it's a pretty stout daily. <laughs> it's a real nice thing. So, yeah, I mean, I'll, they don't come in manual, but. Someone will figure that out. Yeah, I mean, manual, unfortunately, can't get an A90 manual, right, technically, but yeah, you can make it work. You can do what you need. What do you think of the A90? I, at first, I hated it, but now I like it. Like, there's some pretty cool ones out there. The manual thing still annoys me, though. Like, yeah. I just, I get it, but I would prefer a manual. But as far as its looks... It's power, all that stuff. Like, that's cool. Like, I'm very curious to see people continue to develop that motor to see how it goes. But I also know a little bit based because of Ilya and his, like, dealings with BMWs. And, like, those motors and trannies are basically bulletproof, generally yeah. speaking. So, like, overall, uh, it's fine. Honestly, I wouldn't mind one of those. Yeah. I was like, what did I say? I can't remember. I don't know. It was, like, a long time ago. I was, like, with one of my coworkers and i saw like a lexus rc and i was like one of these days man i'm gonna get one of those like <laughs> i'm gonna make it and that's gonna be the car i get and then like every like couple years like i'm like man if i ever make it i'm gonna get i'm gonna get the new supra and then like i just i'm like drifting 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 like <laughs> yeah yeah you know you just gotta do you gotta do what you gotta do it's yeah it's a weird it's weird. I, I, I will neither confirm nor deny, but I may or may not have entered a giveaway for a A90, but I clearly didn't win one. So. <laughs> we're going to see Simba. Like, I didn't on, win the damn on, game. We're going to see Simba on one of those like Instagram ads where he like, you know, gets out of the truck and there's a guard. He's like, oh my God. And exactly. I got yep. million dollars in cash. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be me. Yep. Uh, that's uh, one, of, one of these days. If I wish not, I'm the... suing everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I like. I wonder. Yeah, I don't know. People win stuff on those, man. It's crazy. No, like, no, no, no. I mean, like we we worked like when we did ours. Like, yeah, didn't I both did... of them go to Cal or Nico? Nico won one of the damn cars. Yeah, and then, yeah uh, all three of them went to California. All yeah, three. the other two ended up in NorCal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and like one of the and dudes so was like, like i'm gonna bring it to sonoma drift and we're like what the fuck he did he he yeah. did he that's yeah the one with tomoyo's car yeah he he yeah. brought it over there i think even the dude with daigo's car finally brought it to an event he brought it to grange actually come to think oh, of it fuck. yeah he that's, did. that's the way to break it in <laughs> i don't know if that was and like he was a honda kid so he has never drifted before i don't think that was his first event but i don't remember he put a he put a big honda sticker on the back of it right yeah, that was a joke, but yeah, I, he okay. took it off. Yeah, okay. was, but yeah, um, like you know what they say, I dude. Mean, Haters make you rich, you know. That's true. That's that's very true. But he he was, he was actually super cool, probably the coolest. Like obviously Nico's dope, and again, when we, Nico came, we took him out to dinner, as we normally do. <laughs> when he came to look at his car, but yeah, yeah. I mean, this it's it's a it's a cool concept and that company that we use it is actually legit so i can't actually sue so that's the only annoying part is i actually understand how it functions but yeah 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 it is what it is yeah it's a fun haters game. make you rich just... that's why haters yep. make you rich that's why we're broke right simba yep exactly mm-hmm. <laughs> not hating on anybody i'm just a nice gentleman <laughs> <laughs> i'd agree <laughs> I mean, 
So you guys did has final bout like turned into what you expected or is it like surpassed it or like what I don't know what were your expectations when you were like sitting around a table talking about it for the first time it from that point of where where we started it's doing everything correctly at its at where it needs to be it hasn't reached its final form, I would say, but <laughs> or it hasn't gotten to that point yet. But it's definitely it hasn't reached the final bout. No, 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 no it hasn't. But Sorry. it's definitely uh, <laughs> pulling out these crazy puns. But no, it's um, it's definitely gotten to where it needs to be, and it's there's there's a lot of room for growth, and like we're getting. Uh, this year was supposed to be kind of close to the year of well last year was supposed to be the year of where we were really trying to go with it like starting to get into that path but then you know we had to pause everything so hopefully we'll finish out this year get this thing going and then 2022 will be more of what is really supposed to happen like what a prop full season of it is supposed to look like so i think we'll it's 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 there and we'll be able to do what we want to do with it yeah i'm like gonna need to win the lottery or something because there's there's so many events coming up that i want to do like yeah that's the yeah that's the problem is the time like yeah it's the the time a lot of events i want to do too right like i want to do way more events i want to travel more like you know i got the truck and trailer but the problem now is time right to get to california like get to west coast by my own accord that's like a I don't know what, like six days that I need basically just to like get there and back. Yeah. <laughs> just like, yeah, all right, I only get like so much vacation. So, but yeah, yeah. there's definitely you can, like burn it all up. Yeah. I mean, that's why the whole transport yeah. thing is the only way to really do it for me. Like that's the only way I can like logically do it, but then like that's a whole process, right? So you got to find somebody, yeah. somebody that to store time. the car. Yeah. Store the car, raise the car, do this, blah, blah, blah all that crap so we'll see yeah yeah we're all just a bunch of like random people trying to like drift far away and we you know i don't know i think it's i think it's kind of i think people like probably see man there's like people who are like going traveling around drifting all the time but it's like "Mm, yeah well we're also like trying just (laughs) it's not it's not quite as luxurious as it seems like it, I don't no, know. no. Like even the, even the <laughs> it's not even like the FD guys. Like they have like the truck and trailer, and they go like drive it across country, and they leave it there and fly back and all that stuff. Like, and that's like exactly. a whole year of event planning. Like we're just like yeah, random people trying to like drive with our friends across the country. Yeah, trying to make it happen exactly. somehow. Exactly. You know, it's like yeah, it's like it's like yeah, let's do E Town. I'm like fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah that i mean if you guys were to ever bring your cars out i know that was like that was always a plan that julian and jason i don't know if you guys actually plan on doing that at some point but that's a journey granted the east coast dudes went to Grange, right like they shipped yeah. out their cars to Grange that one year so that's a yeah. hell of a I journey mind, i wouldn't mind doing it but yeah i'm not i don't know i'm not i'm not doing that trip myself <laughs> my truck and trailer <laughs> that's that's too far i mean they didn't none of them drove right they all did a transport i think for those guys i don't yeah, know anybody a i don't know anybody that's all the front oh. street guys yeah yeah yeah. and then did jeff ship his car out or did he buy a car here i can't or there i can't even remember anymore i think he Who's, shipped it i didn't know jeff at the time oh um, shout out shout out stoneback jeff is yeah, the nicest dude ever he really is yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. too nice he is so damn yeah. nice insanely nice yeah but yeah i didn't, yeah, I didn't know him <laughs> i i was it was at that event i was having problems with my motor because mm-hmm. i did dumb stuff not because my motor was <laughs> broken just because i yeah. didn't know what i was doing yeah and uh i was i jumped in a uh like tan it was like denofa and and lz and i didn't know either of them were in i didn't even know at the time i didn't know who lz was oh boy (laughs) like like i just i just like jumped in and i was like 
I, I was like kind of you know we were like doing the whole infield or whatever back and forth yeah. and i was like these guys are these guys are slow i shouldn't say that i was like, yeah, these guys are kind of slow. I was like all right cool i can i can keep up with them because like my car was messed up and i pull yeah, yeah. in and like the was like oh my tires were dead and i was like okay cool you know like it happens like you, yeah, you know, yeah. slow because you're yeah. tired like i've been there I'm like, all right. Yeah. I was like, yeah, man. Like, my motor's having problems, and I, I feel like he took it as like this, like, oh, I was yeah. trying to like downplay it. Like, <laughs> I don't know, but like, pretty much, I was just like, I was like, do you know any? Like, do you know any? And he's like, you should talk to Stoneback. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know what he looked like. Oh, <laughs> like, I heard his name before. I didn't know what car he was driving. Like, I didn't know what he looked like or anything. And I was like, oh, all, all right. And then just like, oh, no. and then I think it was like. I don't know. It was like a month or two later. One of my friends, was, or it was like kind of right when we got back, because I guess he puts out videos. Because my friends like, "You're in the LZ video," and I was like, "What's that?" <laughs> like, Send it to me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have Facebook, right? So like, I kind of, no, no. I do miss some things. Like, it's honestly no, kind of nice. I, yeah, no, it is definitely nice. Trust me. If it wasn't for, for like hosting Club of Our events and Final Bot, I wouldn't have Facebook either. So I yeah. applaud you and you know not having Facebook. But no, I, I, I mean, I guess the first time I met Adam, he came to USA, and I didn't know who he was either at the time. So like, yeah, and you know, I think we're, was... I think it's funny because we're like in our bubble so much, like of, like, yeah, yeah, it's, like, it's, it's grown so much. That's part of it too, yeah. right? Like, yeah, are we really expected to know everything and every, anything? Like, yeah, that's a good point. This, yeah, this, this just got gotten way too big, which like is good and bad because i also like one thing that i like we've talked about at least on our end on the chicago side is like i do feel bad about like the slight disconnect that there is between like the younger generation and us kind of thing because yeah we have a lot of knowledge that they should probably have right like and they should know about drifting that type of thing well and the thing is like all of that was on like forums or you know this yeah and, that, and all that stuff's gone there's no there's no 14 year old signing up for zovia everyone's on facebook yeah groups yelling at each other like i and, honestly i have always wondered and someday i should ask some younger kids like how do you how do you learn this stuff without forums because like Facebook, like you could like, guess search for a post but then like it's not really that simple yeah. and like facebook search function doesn't really like if i wanted to do sr wiring harnessing i mean i guess everything's on youtube now and i guess you'd watch a youtube video because I, I don't know is that how that works now i don't i don't know really <laughs> really no that's that's kind of one of the reasons i like doing this is i i mean i don't think that many of the younger generation are watching this or listening to this or whatever but some are I, yeah I mean, yeah I think and it's like if, yeah and maybe they will later on and this will be like you know helpful to at least get like the timestamp and and you know at least like yeah. talk, that's why that's you know like most of us don't really care about like the history of stuff but i'll like ask yeah. those questions just because i feel like it's helpful yeah for people who maybe just like will find this later when they just gotten into drifting or like yeah. you know what i mean i don't know and that that's largely why i started doing my whole like thursday thing is because going back to like our earlier conversation of we've been doing this for so long that's why our cars are like this like i think a lot of people probably think oh i just bought an s13 through an sr in it and tossed made it you know 380 horsepower and like did that all last year and it's like no it's like i had like a s13 with an open div that's how i started like did that yeah. for two years right like and nobody knows that you would know that story if you looked at my build thread on zilvia or whatever yeah, you, wouldn't, like, you wouldn't know that story unless you're not going to know that story by scrolling down to the past and Instagram. Like, yeah, you're not gonna know exactly. that story by like going on Facebook and yeah, exactly. Like, that's kind of the cool thing about what do you do? What are you doing on like you said on Thursdays? Like, do you, yeah, just I just it's the you know, throwback Thursday thing. I just every every well, I didn't do it today just because I got I was too lazy, and so I understand why you're lazy sometimes, but uh, <laughs> I just started like when i first i did like every week i'll do like phases of the car so like you know the first week i did was when i first got the car and it was bone stock and then like after that it was i think i got like an sr or something and like you know like major phases and then like when i painted yeah. purple and when i painted when i got the coupe when i painted you know all like the paint phases and just like that types of things and different looks and different motor setups and just little simple stuff just so that there's like a history 
and you can see where yeah, it goes. A lot of people I mean, are like, I didn't know you had that car. I was like, yep, that was my first I car. Learned, I learned I learned stuff too. Yeah. It's been yeah. You don't you don't like you don't know everybody everything about everybody's past. I mean, not yeah. but, you know, not that you need to know everything, but like uh, it's kind of cool to see the steps, right? Like, you know, maybe maybe people don't know that I used to have an S13. Do I care? Bet, probably, probably yeah, not. most people probably don't know. Like, most people don't know Julian had an S14. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like shit like that. It's just like, huh? Like, nobody knows some of that stuff because everyone's all yeah. new and young. But it's kind of nice to know. Nice to know these things and how things are back in the day. You gotta learn about some people. I think it's helpful. I mean, yeah, I like. To- I had fun doing the like final bout like twitch stream oh yeah 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 those, those are were fun. fun yeah like a lot of work <laughs> but it was fun <laughs> dude i i'm like just learning obs which is what uh lee yeah. was using to do those yeah man he was doing so much work oh, yeah. on that like oh yeah he was doing so much... <laughs> <laughs> like, it wasn't like, easy you should <laughs> It wasn't. It, it wasn't it's, easy it's, at all. It's hard like, to wrangle. Like, honestly, it was. It's hard to wrangle people too. Like to get people to yeah. do these. Like, it's hard to get two people at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. That was probably alone, our hardest part. Like seven. Yeah. yeah. Especially like it's one thing when it's a team, but like when we started doing the Aceto comps and stuff, when you got like eight various yeah. people from various parts of the world, sometimes. I'm just like, oh, Lord, yeah. like, this is the hardest thing. And, like, we tried to, you know, we do, like, a whole competition, like, from, like, a full series. And, like, we did it. And, like, it was fine. But there was every now and then it'd be like, yo, man, I can't make it. I got, and, like, I get it. Like, everybody's busy. Like, everybody's got their own thing to do. But, like, yeah. and we had to do it by schedule. Yeah, it's a, it, yeah, it, it kind of sucks. It was kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah. But, That's but, why I don't do cool. live. It's smart. No, that's smarter. Like, yeah, the live part is hard because then you have to start. It's like, yeah. okay, you are like you have waiting. To start. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you're like, oh well, lord. If, if I were to do a live one, there'd be like six people watching, and I'd be like, hey there. I don't know. You I don't know. Surprise. I, I don't know. I yeah, probably, it depends. I could, probably, I could probably roll and do. It. You could. I think you could, but I, I think do... what would end up happening is. What, what'll end up happening is you'll get whoever their friends are for sure. And then you'll get a few other random people. You should do one live at some point. Yeah, in time. True. <laughs> it would be, yeah, be interesting. Cool. Kind of one thing. One thing I wanted to do is I wanted to do like a, a, like get everybody on when there's like a comp on like, mm. like formula D or D one or something. And then just yeah, have yeah, like yeah. everybody kind of like commentate like BS during it, like point stuff out. I feel like that'd, that'd be, be cool good. and like kind yeah. of be like you get to learn stuff it was kind of, i think it was billy sutton's idea i stole it from him also i decided doing this after billy and mez's podcast so i'm just a fucking thief that's that's <laughs> <laughs> we're all thieves though i mean that, that goes into the same with the car things everyone was just like how do you guys come up with new ideas he's like no you don't you just there's a bunch of things in your head and you just put them together <laughs> like and then you just make it your own yeah that's all I think do. that's challenging for some people. I've I've learned that yeah. like because you know in my job, in my job, in my, in my job at how, how do I say that? <laughs> people I work with. Yeah, like, there you go, there you go. <laughs> or even just even just in life, like I think that visualizing what something's gonna look like when it's done is not mm. something that people. You're, no, like the no, execution you're right. to get there is something that you can learn, and the vision of like I don't know how to explain it. I think something, I think I mean it's not necessarily something. like teaching the vision; it's teaching like the execution to like make sure you don't do weird stuff along the way to your vision, and then have your vision be totally like, well, that's not what yeah. I was thinking. I don't know. Yeah, no, I mean you see stuff and you it. Had, yeah. You see it in certain people, right? Especially like because we're talking cars in a sense, right? Like if I wrote down on a piece of paper a bunch of like the coolest parts, BN this, blah, 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 that. But like if it doesn't mix, it's not going to look good. Like, and that's what some people fail at. They're like, oh, I know how to spend money. I was like, no, that's not it. Or I know how to collect things or I know how to do this, but I don't know how to put it together. 
It's just like, hmm. Yeah. Do that all the time. But execution is key. Literally. Execution like... is, is key. But execution comes from execution comes from repetition, right? Like True. knowing how to execute yeah. things. Like yeah. You know, maybe maybe some people are naturally good at it and some people are gonna like be able to put together a really cool looking car like the first time they do it. Yeah. But it still can be learned. Like I don't know. You can you can still figure it out over time. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You just gotta. I don't know. You just gotta think. What do you like? Everybody has some sort of style. You just gotta do whatever the fuck style yeah. you want. I guess that's the other problem is people don't want to do their own style. Like, whatever. even if somebody thinks your style's ugly, if it's what you like, man, it's what you like. Just do it. <laughs> like, who cares? Yeah. Hey, man. Like, Carhartt's fashion now. Think about yeah, that. Ironically, like, can, it is. Yes. <laughs> you can, it really is. Just, just. You never know, man. Maybe the thing that you really like is gonna be cool. That's very in true. A bit. Like that's, you know what I mean? That's I very know. true. Yeah. It shit just changes. But it's all about the execution. Yeah. yeah. If you look confident in a car heart, then you're good to go. <laughs> yeah. It's all it takes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a weird Yeah, like world. a lot of people don't know this, but Ryan Ryan had fake wheels on his uh, the front of his car at Final Bout One. I um, wouldn't be surprised. There's been, there's definitely been a few people, but yeah, not surprised at all. <laughs> sneaking sneaking yes. them in there. Mm-hmm. I mean, he had I'm actually, really cool, super rare rear wheels, but. I'm actually wondering, like, my, again, my memory is so terrible. Like, you should, the funny part, I don't know if Ilya mentioned how we, like, decided what teams were coming to the first final bout. I don't, I'm trying to remember how we found you guys because we didn't. Huh. I didn't know Julian before. I didn't know Julian, Jason, or Kato. I didn't know them. We have I have the notebook somewhere that has just like team names, and I'm not sure where or who told us about Animal Style. Because I can't remember if we picked you guys before that parking lot video or not. I don't remember. Huh. I don't remember what came first. Like, honestly. I'd, I'd, I'd have to... More Julian's car was primered white at the time. The very first one at whatever Kato's yeah. sponsor was that sponsor? Okay, yeah, yeah, that video. I don't know what. Yeah, was it DNA? Yeah, there we go. That's it. Yeah, I hurt. Yeah, hurt filmed that. Hurt filmed. Oh shit! Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I did not know that. I think it was him and Will. I think it was. I think it was just hurt. Interesting. Okay, I didn't know that. Well, damn. Huh. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. But yeah, so now. Cause I, yeah, I can't remember how we found. So like literally it was a day when me and Ilya were just like sitting at a Starbucks and like, we were writing down team names that we could think of like team names that just like popped up. And like, obviously we knew the Chicago ones, you know, a couple East coast teams and we would pick, you know, random things that we knew like tandem of die, right? Like the West coast teams that we knew was like tandem of die. I, we didn't know gold star before that. I honestly don't remember how we figured that out. Like Black Moon, or no, I, they didn't go to Final Bout One, but yeah, it was weird. But I'm trying to remember how. It was probably, how it was probably some, probably some like wild Russian, Russian <laughs> Mazda connection between <laughs> Russ and Ilya. Maybe it, like it must have. It must have been. I remember Josh, jo- old satellite. Yeah, I remember Josh also had like <laughs> his like. He was the type of person that knew everything about everything everywhere, like drifting related, because he's like you know mega nerd. So he gave us like a pretty yeah. large list of team names that I had never heard of. So he might have been the one that told us about it. That's cool. So, yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's how we picked our, our first sets of teams. Because I know a lot of people probably just assume like everyone, we were all just friends with everybody and that's how we picked them. So, you know, everybody like always comes up with this idea that it's the most elitist of things to get into Final Bout, that whole, that whole thing. But like, yeah, literally had no idea who half the people were. That was the first time meeting most of you guys. Most. <laughs> Almost all. I, yeah. I went to, I, I literally went like, nah, that sounds dumb. I'm not going. It sounds expensive. <laughs> oh, I don't, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like on our list of teams, there was definitely a few teams that were just like, yeah, I'm not going all the way to Shawano, Wisconsin for some event. It definitely happened. That's for sure. Yeah. I mean, that's a big ask. I don't know, man. I'm, especially that. That was a, yeah big ass yeah. to be like yo you're from california bring your car out to wisconsin it's like what and i don't know like from strange right 
because we had nobody you yeah, guys shouldn't have much. known who we were maybe by that yeah it was just like a couple strangers yeah. call you and tell you to come to wisconsin yeah yeah it's i didn't weird. know much at all i just mm-hmm. i was like oh okay i think i i think i saw some of those guys in videos that's cool you know and then i saw the <laughs> event and i was like ah oh, fuck i should have that. <laughs> yeah it, it worked out it worked well it was dope i almost i almost made it to gallery <laughs> almost <laughs> almost almost my goodness have you driven us air at least like obviously not in your car no. but have you driven anybody's car you no, haven't even haven't, you haven't even taken a car. spin no wow so you fixed julian's car and didn't even help him didn't even let you take it for a spin or was it broken after that um i didn't fix his car i well, no, it was jason's car, car right wasn't i fixed i fixed, I fixed that... danny's car and i I got cl- we had literally the entire row of cars <laughs> that's right was broken and I was like <laughs> helping with each of them because it two like three out of four had electrical problems yeah and uh <laughs> dude B strong just goes out like with his hall tech cutting out and literally yeah. like, cutting it on people's doors and stuff I'm like okay that was like the coolest part of the week weekend for me because it was like it was, I was like literally in the pits just trying to help that was the event yeah. where i was like i'm gonna learn how to fucking plug into these damn ecus and i'm gonna learn wiring <laughs> like for real because like this shit cannot yeah. fly like my my yeah. boys drove 44 yeah. hours to come do this event yeah. and like did yeah. two laps yeah you know what that's I mean? the like, worst it was it was like it was that's and, and terrible, i felt so guilty because thing. like had i known what i was doing i probably could have fixed at least jason's car so uh, his was like know. that was it yeah i, was like, I don't know was it a sensor his his throttle know, position sensor wiring was snapped we fixed that and then mm-hmm. we found out that his water temp sensor snapped so i guess That's he right. when he undid his harness because he mm-hmm. does like a refresh every like not a refresh but he'll like pull yeah, it out do clean. a leak down clean everything up check for leaks yeah. and stuff mm-hmm. he'll do that like once a year and so i guess the last time he did it right before final bout and some of the wiring had gotten frail and Mm, okay snapped in multiple places so it was really hard to troubleshoot so we fixed the throttle position Um, sensor and then it was still doing it because the water temp would uh i think it was grounding out so it would ground out and it would read like a thousand degrees for like a split second and it would cut out and then it would go away and come back so it was intermittent and then b strong's car his exciter wire on his alternator wasn't charging. So they swapped alternators like I think twice. I was like, it's the alternator. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't, it was a, one of the things on the alternator, not the alt. Anyway, uh, feel bad okay. again. Uh, <laughs> and Julian's car just blew up. <laughs> I think that fucking motor was yeah, shot, yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it, was, yeah. it would fill the catch can in two corners. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. That's so bad. <laughs> But, uh, I, fixed, uh, I fixed Danny's car. We wired a, a KA MAF on his SR. All right, that works. Yeah, I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, uh, single cam okay. KA MAFs work on SRs. Uh, okay, gotcha, I, gotcha. I ran. I read it on the sacred texts of Zilvia on some like, <laughs> iPad that they gave me. They're like, "This is my work iPad. Don't look at porn." And I was like, you know, I, was trying to find... "I was like, I think if we do it like this, we can yeah. plug them in." Yeah, so yeah. that was cool that works but yeah that that's the worst is when you get all the way somewhere and you don't get any damn runs and then it, and it goes back to i don't like working on cars but like yeah, yeah that's, i think that, like, that sucks i think final bout two was when i met you and you're i think you like threw some rocker arms or something and you only got yep. you only got to drive like the second day like a little bit yeah i broke the rock because that was when i got my two point two liter that's when i got bad and like i immediately broke the rockers because i switched to an am <laughs> at the time too and uh, anybody that's listening and has an am please do not set it to ignition cut do fuel cut please otherwise you will break your rockers on an sr like immediately so broke them but then and then it means that I, your rev limiter takes away fuel instead of spark Yes, yes, yes. For yes. those for those of you who so like yeah, yeah. uninitiated. It sounds worse, but for an SR, it'll save your motor. I, I hit up the guy who turned my car and I was like, hey, can I switch it to ignition cut? And he's like, why? And I was like, 
because 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 cool sounds better <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's it like, does he's like he's like i mean it's, J- it's your your motor jay-z like, go for it right, oh, yeah, that's fine i'm surprised he actually asked because usually tuners almost always do ignition cut because i think ignition cut is technically better overall i thought i was I, always dude I'm, I'm i'm all up in that if if my motor ever goes it's because of me fucking with it. like like <laughs> <laughs> don't ever blame like if my don't ever blame my tuner it is me all right Wait, i like you. yeah <laughs> kyle borden low dynamics he, uh, uh, he like he made it happen he tuned my car like the week before uh final about west this year or this last year it was like oh, that works i literally finished my engine harness called him i was like hey can we tune my car like this week like is there yeah. a way you can get me and he's like yeah we'll make it happen i wired my cam angle sensor backwards so we lost like I don't know, like a whole day or something, because I, damn, you know, that I'm sucks. learning. Yeah, yeah, you gotta learn somehow. You gotta learn. You, you gotta shout learn. Don't worry, I learned the rocker arm thing. So shout out to that. Panic. Panic helped me fix it, and it was like, oh, no, nope. it was helpful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, always uh, helpful. But yeah, yeah like yeah, I, I ended up. Yeah, yeah, I bought it from Yoshioka. Like, it's Dang. yeah. Dang. It's a pretty yeah. I don't. It's not in the car right now, and that uh, I guess that's another thing that I am planning on hopefully finishing this spring or whatever at some point. I want to put it back in, but yeah, I broke the rockers at that event, and then my dumbass, I got rockers. I drove hours away, so like that was probably my worst find about because I had to drive like an hour and a half away to go get rock arms, and you guys are all like partying at Longhorn, etc. And I've those are you know those times everyone's party. So I went to drive and then like went partying at Longhorn, met up with you guys or whatever. And the next day, I went to swap everything and I did something wrong in the process. Obviously, probably because I'm rushed and like you, you know working on your car at an event where there's thousands of people on is probably the worst damn thing in the world because everybody yeah. comes up to you and is just like, what you doing? What's happening? Hey, what's Hello? wrong? Is it Hi. broken? You're are like, you blah, blah, blah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst and then you get distracted and i i either get distracted simple. or just wasn't I, paying attention <laughs> i love lion king you're like Dude, exactly yeah don't talk like, to right me now, this is it's like right now things i am dissecting this thing but i ended up uh i think i didn't <laughs> i think what i forgot was to pull the tensioner i didn't take the tensioner out and then when i was mm-hmm. trying to take the cams out like they you know the the cable the chain will still hold down and then that basically messed up the lobes and the cam like the cams everything so that motor was uh, messed I, up the I head did I, did yeah. the, I did that the first time I tried to take uh, my SR like apart kind of I was like yeah. man these, these cams are like really in there yep. like, man, this <laughs> thing's really like yep and I was like let me get a pry bar that'll help popped it out and I was like oh well then <laughs> I guess that's not good so oh well it is what it is but because of that experience the first time i tried to take my i tried to take the head off my sr when i blew Mm -hmm. it up just because i was like well i'm selling the head and it's got rod knock so i might as well just like i want to like i want to take it apart i want to see like how everything goes i took it i i got to that step and then just went like I'm not taking motors part anymore. Like, I'm going to stick to wiring. Somebody else can do that. Like motors to yeah. me are what wiring is to most people. Okay. That's fair. Don't like... miss, me, miss me with that. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, I can take apart a motor. I refuse to put it together. Put it that way. Like if I really am thinking about it and do okay, it right, I can take enough. it apart. But like that part I can do especially after my traumatizing experience and being like, all right, make sure you actually pay attention this time. But yeah, either way, yeah. I like, I still don't, I don't like to do my own motor work. I just like to take any guessing games out of it, but yeah. Oh, well, that is what it... well, it's especially difficult when like people are asking you to sign their firstborn children's like yeah. foreheads and stuff like while you're working. It, yeah. You know, it's, you're... It's, yeah. it's not fun. That was also my, when super D came out here, by trans but it that was a weird story but um, for whatever reason like just before the competition or something or like at the end of the day or something like my car wouldn't go into gear at all and i thought i broke i thought i broke the, the trans but like it wasn't the trans so we ended up 
getting the trans out, blah, 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 and taking the clutch out and couldn't figure out what was wrong. Everything was functional, but ended up noticing that there was just like a bunch of dirt in the forks. So like, instead of it, like close, you know, how it's supposed to open and close, it wouldn't fully open. Yeah. So I was just like, it was just oh. all the dirt was stuck. So it was always fully like stuck like this. Like this is about as much as it would move. And I was like, shit. So I ended up cleaning it out and putting it all back together and it worked perfectly fine. I was like, all right. But had to having to pull a trans in the middle of the night sucked. Yeah. I, I, it's not what it, I can't remember who found it either. Cause we were just sitting there staring at the clutch, staring at everything, looking at the trans that are like, you could take apart the trans, but one guy randomly came by and I was just like, take a look at him. And he was like looking at it and it's just like, your forks look really weird. And then I was just like, oh shit. And it worked. So, yeah. Damn, Surprising. shout out that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he helped me out a ton. Although the one thing I did fuck up on that I didn't mention to anybody until I was done with the event was I was looking up the torque specs for the, the clutch and I read it wrong. So the clutch was not tight by any means. But like, <laughs> I knew if I spoke it into the air, like the, the, that shit would, the, the plate. Pressure. Yeah, the you know, pressure plate. The, the pressure, pressure plate, plate the, you know, <laughs> yeah. Both bolts were like yeah, yeah. maybe 30, 30, 30% of the way tight because I was, the guy's torque wrench we were using was not in foot pounds and I was doing the conversion and I did the conversion wrong. And I was just like, but like by the time we got it done, it was time for the competition and I was just like, Think about this, and I refuse to speak this into the world right now. So, I pray that my my feet stay alive for this. <laughs> so, in the back of my mind, the entire time I'm drifting, I'm just like every time I clutch kick, I'm like, ah. okay, good. <laughs> like, please don't come apart. <laughs> it was terif- terrifying, terrifying to do a competition with it. I've definitely had those moments where you're like. Should I keep driving? Like you're like, should I keep? I was, and then you like, you'll like do some stuff. You'll be like, yeah. Uh, you kind of have to be. You kind of have to be an optimist a little bit to get your yeah, seat yeah, time. Yeah. Yep. I I went full out. I was like, you know what? Super D's out here, first time, got a chance, going up against a famous YouTuber, and then lost, and then you know, <laughs> give my give my best. He has, he has a good he has a good driver. If he beat you, and he beat who else did he beat? He beat like a lot of people. Yeah, he beat, in like a borrowed uh, car is pretty pretty good. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, hey, whatever. It's I I I learned something about it. It's just everybody that he beat, he was trying to win. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't think anybody uh, else was. Nobody else was really trying to win. They were there. For Jason wasn't fun. trying to win. Yeah, Jason wasn't trying. He beat Jason. He beat me. He beat uh, Josh Delees, and he beat. Jason, Jason got him back at the next one, though. Oh, did he? <laughs> yeah. he, he beat him. Which, is, oh, what? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Spirit Peak or whatever? Northwest. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Or Pike. Those are some... I don't know what it is. Yeah, Spirit Peaks. Yeah, there that was that was some That was some stuff, man. That's good. No, Pretty it's cool. dope. Like, yeah, 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 I appreciate it. Like, I, I missed. We used to do competitions here a long, 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 long time ago. And like, then we stopped for a little bit, but I, I'm glad. Like, when Julian told me about it, I was like, oh, yeah, like people need to lose, <laughs> basically. Because if you never lose, then you'll never get better, right? Like, that type of thing. So I was all for it. I was just like, y'all gotta lose. Yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely have been losing. <laughs> but it's good. It's a good thing. If you always win, it's boring. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's definitely a good thing. I mean, I, I lost first round at, uh, at northwest and and i like ever since then i was like nope that's it like i'm fucking done with this shit like <laughs> i'm coming to this i'm coming i'm coming to this next event with a fucking bazooka dude like, <laughs> like i'm i'm gonna practice yeah. i hope there are some comps this year like just some fun ones like i like doing yeah. the fun comps i don't really yeah, yeah, like, yeah like it sucks that they got rid of like i wasn't a pro-am guy and then now that like i have a car that i could do pro-am with just to like get some like competition practice and like tan you know i just want to yeah i just want to like i don't know i've been drifting 10 years i don't I, all my trophies are either for crashing or for t- <laughs> team tan <laughs> yeah no i feel you yeah it's like I'm a, i kind of want to i kind of want to have like a little it's, like it's a fun hey i beat people at this you know like i don't know so yeah now, now all they have is like these shootout things where it's like yeah the everyone's trying to go pro and it's 
500 bucks to do it and get a like full crazy cage and just like <sighs> yeah uh, it's 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 hard yeah it's one of those things like uh, julian you know super d's got the right motion right like but then like there's only so much stuff that they can do right like in terms of like there's only only a couple of them, right it's like can't host a bunch of them but then then there's the what's that one clutch kickers or whatever there's that but the problem with clutch kickers is there's money involved so people cheat so you're like all right it's like fantastic now you got all this like sneaky stuff going on when there's yeah. money involved it's just like it's like it's like all right come on it's like it's a little tricky but yeah point but there's there's one i know there's like a one local one that they had here i didn't get a chance lee went he ended up losing to the guy that won but like again it was another one of those i think kind i of saw cool that concept. lee's good man yeah 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 lee lee's really good in that thing it's it honestly that car feels like a sore it feels almost exactly like a sore it does it's the same weight basically hmm. yeah i've heard i've heard that they're they i don't know i i like did donuts in one once and we got rod knocked seven <laughs> M was it the seven M? Is that why? Shout out, shout out, Jeff Chan. Like, <laughs> he like hit me up. This is like my homie from back in like back in the day. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, I won't get into it, but he like <laughs> he hit me up one day and he's like, "You want to go do donuts in Oakland?" And I was like, "I'm down," you know. And he like picks me up in this like it was a Mark III Supra with like seven M GTE. Yeah, and like it kept dying at like stoplights, and you'd like get out and like jiggle the wires and stuff. And I was like, I was like, all right, there's like three of us in this car, and so we like drive. We like we're in San Francisco, and we like drive across the bridge, and we like we go near the airport. There's like I don't know, there's like a big like Costco or something, and we're like kind of just like practicing doing like figure eights and stuff, just like for fun. And I like he's like, you want to rip donuts? I'm like, yeah, sure. So I'm like, I'm doing donuts, and then we like go we're like doing donuts somewhere else and then it starts i forgot it wasn't me driving luckily it was like kind of like but like yeah. it starts to knock and we're like oh yeah. shit like we're <laughs> we're far from home and we're i think i was like i couldn't have been more than like 18 or 19 at the time so i was like yeah it's like kind of, it's like you know we're in oakland not in like the best area it's like a place where you would go to do donuts in oakland you know <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and we're like we're driving around it's it's the knocking's getting louder and louder oh, and we God. like pull up and like we're we're like definitely in we're in like we're like in east oakland and we're getting like you know like we're getting close to like the the trap houses pretty much like like yeah in oakland. And, and it's like we're going that way because we're trying to like uh, get away yeah 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 no, I forgot. I get away, but like, you're trying to get to an area, an area with like crappy shit. We were trying to get, we were trying to get to a gas station so we could like, uh, so like, and you know, this is, did we have iPhones yet? I think so. I don't know. It was like this is a long time ago, so yeah. it was like it was it wasn't easy to find a gas station. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. so we're like going, and <laughs> I think I had a BlackBerry at the time. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Yeah, so it was like, you know, fucking stupid little trackball thing. With the I, lo- I love my BlackBerry. Oh man, what's I? I love the BlackBerry. I miss, put it in the pouch the, and everything. I miss the <laughs> keyboard. I miss being able to like yeah. type it without lo- tra- like without looking. You're yeah, just like, yeah, I'll be there soon, and you're like done. You know, now it's like you're like. Um, yeah <laughs> honestly yeah BlackBerry like Segway of course on more ADD Segways here but yeah BlackBerry was one of, probably one of my probably the one phone that i missed the most the pinging uh, the you know bbms and all that stuff oh, like I BBM. Yeah. <laughs> i remember i remember i was in a bbm chat with like all the all the all the girls that because i worked at best buy all the girls that worked yeah. in like the cell phone like yeah. area and shit we like bbm message each other all day <laughs> yeah man I, I missed that thing i think it was a shit it was a fun fun time to have one <laughs> Yeah, but I think I'm also 240. I don't know. Yeah, I have all of my old phones. I've kept all like I like sell my iPhones now, but I have like I have like my Razor. I have my I have my BlackBerry. I have crazy story that involves my friend Jeff. Mm -hmm. Uh, So anyway, we're like this this car is rod knocking. We like pull over somewhere, and like dudes in like the tallest 
white tall as tall t white t's like start <laughs> yeah. coming out of the house yeah like we're like on we're like on someone's block and they don't know who we are and we're in like a knocking like blacked out mark three supra and it's like me and yeah. like two like my like chinese homies <laughs> it's just it, which is it was just like not a good look like, yeah no it was not no. a good look you know so no so we finally find a gas station they like tow it back and it was like you know rotten or whatever and then he like yeah. sold it to one of our friends anyway okay. yeah. same guy i'm i'm hijacking your, your podcast i'm sorry same guy <laughs> that's fine that's uh, fine Jeff. so <laughs> i'm with i'm with some of my friends uh in chinatown and one of my mm-hmm. friends is looking to acquire some brass knuckles <laughs> which okay you know we're young this is actually this is actually yeah. before the rod knock story okay we're young my friend's like going into the shops like do you know where i can get brass knuckles and they keep looking at him like what what and it's me uh me two of my black friends and then my other my other white friend mm-hmm. and the white my other white friend's looking for brass knuckles and so we're kind of like hanging out like we're just i don't know we're just making a day of it we're like goofing yeah. around yeah. And like two of them bought like little bb guns and they were like you know well, shooting yeah. at each other like on the street and yeah and so like chinatown we didn't you know there's like a lot about chinatown i didn't understand <laughs> at the time because we were just young yeah. messing around yeah one of them my friend that was looking for the brass knuckles leaves to go put change in the meter right and we're like standing on this corner and the other one like uh actually there's five people he calls one of the guys and the guy just disappears and we're like that's weird so on the corner we're like it's like me me and my two friends uh wheezy and fucking young space <laughs> wait is that really what you called them <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah well his name's one of them's it's it's wayne and phil i'll just okay. like, i'll just say it. yeah okay all right <laughs> young spanx was he's yeah where, how do you get young he's spanx? a rollerblader now the wheezy uh, i don't know that was just like it was just, that was his rap name okay young spanx uh, all right all right uh, <laughs> that works Space. I think he. I think he was Haitian and Filipino. He was. He's. He's like really into Dragon Ball Z and had a CRX, but then he like was also a rapper and would like hang out in Vallejo. Like, and he was a he was an right. inline skater. Like, he would do like oh, big rails and stuff. Like, he's actually really good. Okay. Sounds anyway, like we're we're really all in this guy. corner. Yeah, I had some real interesting friends when I was younger. I'm on this corner and I see this group of dudes. I probably should, I shouldn't tell these stories on here. Anyways, it's entertaining. <laughs> There's this group of dudes. It is. Like leaning up against leaning up an L, against an LS400 and they're just like looking at us, like kind of yeah. doing one of these where they keep like rolling to their shoulder, like yeah. like kind of just keeping an eye on us. And yeah. they're all on their phones and I'm like, "Uh, this isn't good." <laughs> like this is not good cuz I'm I'm pretty like, you know, I'm an anxious dude, you know? Like Yeah. <laughs> and so <laughs> My other two friends are now uh, more worried about finding somewhere that has like a a, a, a blunt wrap, essentially. <laughs> like, like, all right. And so they're like, they're they go off to they're like, I'm like, okay, we should get out of here. And they're like, no, we need a wrap. And I'm like, okay, because <laughs> this group is growing. Yeah. So like, I go into the store, and I'm like, fuck you guys, you you can get jumped. So I go into the <laughs> store. To, to like try and figure out like a way out and i come back out of the store and it went from like three guys to, to like i think like six guys and they're all like kind of younger they were they were like around my age i think mm-hmm. i'm like oh no this really isn't good so i'm like walking i'm walking kind of they're they're like kind of hanging back just to like see where i go i go i i see mm-hmm. my friends i'm like hey we gotta get out of here and they're like kind of back and they're like it's cool like don't like we're good i'm like <laughs> okay go in another store hide i'm like literally hiding oh in this like God, just like <laughs> like i'm hiding in this like uh it was like a souvenir store i'm like hiding behind oh like a clothing Jesus. rack like that. i'm like this is not oh good. My okay God. so i see more people walk by but they walked by and i was like okay cool also another thing is i had like knee problems like all through like 13 to 21 mm-hmm. so 
I go to leave. I'm like, I don't see him. All right, I'm going to make my way out. But I can't really run because like I have, I had knee problems. Yeah. I go and I'm like kind of making my way out, make my way out. I'm like walking down the street. I'm like almost out of Chinatown. I'm like, okay. They just wanted to make sure we left. <laughs> right at that time, all I hear is Wayne and fucking Phil just run and they run oh, by no. me. Like, oh no. <laughs> and there's like literally a, all I do is I put my hood on and try yeah. to like go down an alley. I didn't even make it one step before I got like I got my shoulder grabbed and they like pull me back and they all just like pulled out pipes and like hit me and stuff. I oh, went down. My, yeah. I, I black I kind of like blacked out almost. Yeah. And, like I come back, I come back to I'm like bleeding a little bit and stuff. Like my phone and my wallet are gone. Oh god. And then like I get up and it's across from the park where like all the old people play like <laughs> and stuff. Jesus. Oh. So I'm like, fuck, ah, like what the fuck? And I like I'm yelling so loud the entire park of people playing mahjong stopped oh playing mahjong. My God. And they they look over at me like what the and then they like fuck them oh and like, you just go God. back to playing. I'm like, ah, <laughs> all right, all right. So I'm like I walk down the street. I'm almost out of Chinatown. I make a left where the car was. The car's gone. I'm like, oh. I'm like, I don't know the city that well at this point. Like, I didn't live in the city yeah. yet. And I'm like looking around. I'm like, where do they go? I don't have my oh, phone. No. And then two more guys. I see like five guys run around the corner and then three run back and it's only two. And like this one little dude just getting in my face. And like, I'm already like bleeding and stuff. Like my arms are bleeding. Like my, my face, like I have like blood on my oh, face my. and stuff. And he's like screaming at me like, I don't ever want to see you in Chinatown again. Like, I'll fucking kill you. And I'm like, oh, I was like, I'm already I'm leaving, dude. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, I know there's three more guys around the corner. Like, I saw them. I walk into this super nice hotel that's like oh, across God. the street and I'm bleeding and I'm just I have like an Amoeba Records, like giant yeah. hoodie on because that was the era. I was like, two, this is like 2000. It's 2006. Okay. Yeah, 2006. So I was like 16. Jesus. <laughs> and I'm bleeding. The security guard comes up to me. He's like, come on, man. You can't be in here. Like, come on, man. Like, really? And I was like, dude, they just jumped me and took my phone. Can I please yeah. use your phone? I'm like bleeding. And I'm like, I'm like, I, you can just hear that I'm like sad in my voice. I'm like, come on, man. Like, you know. So like oh the security guy God. is super nice. And he like takes me to the security yeah. room. I call my friend. I'm like, where did you go? And he's like, the car got towed. And I'm like, why didn't Ryan tell us the car yeah. got towed? And he's like, I don't know. I thought he told you wow. guys. Sick. So they come pick me up like, you know, secret, secret, you know, secret service style. They like pull up in the, I think it was like a GMC Jimmy. Like those like yeah. crappy. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. So we get in that and we get on the phone with the other guys they had ran like all the way up to this like big monument in San Francisco mm -hmm. called Coit Tower. They'd run like, I think it's like three or four. It's like three miles, like at least two miles and like way uphill. Jesus. We like pull up to it. They come out of the bushes and they have like broom handles and shit. <laughs> but they like stole it <laughs> on the way there. And so they like get in the car and I'm like, I'm like bleeding and stuff. And I'm like, I'm like, you guys, you guys just left me. I remember, I remember a scene. I was like gonna get I, I saw Phil like turn around and he was like looking. He's like, should I help him? It was like he's like, I'm like, I'm out of here. Like, 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 what am I gonna do? Oh, good. Just get my ass beat too, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, you guys are just gonna leave me like that. And they're like, yeah. I'm like, what do you want us to do? There's like 25 people with pipes. Like, yeah, damn. And so wow. they, they called my mom and my dad and told them that they beat me up so bad that I was what? dead. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. what the, why? <laughs> why did they call? I don't know. Jeez, how long did that pass before they were just like, oh, he's dead? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> wow. they, they decided that I wow. died. Maybe because I went into that hotel and I never came out. I don't oh, know. That's so wild. Wow. Yeah. I think they were just mess. I think they were just trying to like turn the knife or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, so I tell my I tell my uh uh 
friend i told my friend jeff mm -hmm. at the time like hey man or we like we like had a conversation about it he's like oh i know those guys and i'm like what <laughs> you know them he's like he's like yeah i'll talk to him what the <laughs> lo and behold the next time i see him he's like here's your phone what the... are you yeah. oh yeah, my yeah. god it didn't have a sim card and the memory card had been taken out and they like wiped it or whatever but like i mean i got my yeah, okay. i got my razor yeah. back all right and he's like hey they thought you guys were stealing like that's that's how they regulate chinatown like the the younger like the younger the younger guys essentially like yeah. have a gang and they like clean up the streets mm -hmm. and make sure you know people aren't like taking advantage of the family businesses or whatever like they kind of like police their own neighborhood that's why you don't see any homeless people in chinatown i was like okay well Interesting. i i shit you not i did not go back to chinatown for like 10 years <laughs> Damn. i like, lived in san francisco like people would be like hey you want to go get like dim sum and i'm like where <laughs> <laughs> where damn that bad wow yeah. that's crazy damn he knew yeah. them too <laughs> yeah uh i don't know how you get you i mean 16 you know, i guess right between being a teenager those are the yeah. dumb things you do yeah that's maybe i'll tell you the full story of why why anyway there's there's like more that goes on there anyway i figured should... yeah we'll we'll save that for a, a private conversation <laughs> yeah shout out shout out jeff yeah jesus man that's good okay shit happens shit now he happens. runs he runs a repair shop in in uh in the city Petrero awesome? automotive go see him it's good people <laughs> all right not in chinatown uh anywhere no it's not in chinatown i, I right. do go by there often anyway right. who well, cares that works that works crazy <laughs> <laughs> all your wild stories I got some stories. Uh, I had a, I had a, yeah, yeah, yeah. had an interesting go at life. Yeah, I, it every, sounds like it. Everyone's got stories, man. Yeah, I have a terrible memory. Is a problem with my stories. <laughs> That's like my young stories are the stories that I like vaguely remember here and there. Like I only remember things past like twenties. That's basically it. Anything pre twenties is like uh, things happened my parents will tell you or my brother will tell you or somebody will tell you some crazy stories that I, that happened to me. Yeah. Oh yeah. The reason, the reason that it was important that I mentioned that like I was with two black friends is he's like, yeah, they don't like black people. <laughs> and I was like, oh, got it. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> he's like out. pretty much like they wanted you out. Like, you know, they yeah. thought you were stealing, like, like yeah, they thought yeah. you were stealing. And I was like, Oh, he's like, <laughs> he's like, I mean, I know you guys, you guys are cool. And I was like, <laughs> oh good yeah yeah damn that's crazy i mean it's not surprising it brings you back to all these like old school movies you know like menace to societies and all that how like all that shit used to go down between like asian stores and anybody basically they're like nah get out just stay away yeah i i mean yeah everyone I, everyone's out there trying to make it you know yeah, 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 yeah. you gotta do what you can yeah. Do what you can. You never know. You gotta figure yeah. out one way or another. Well, I derailed the shit out of that. <laughs> we thought we were gonna talk about that. <laughs> That's all right. It, it's it, it's all come full circle back to you know I don't know the death rows and the illmatics and things. We went right. backwards. We're going back in time. Yeah. When these I guys mean, were a little bit more relevant. Kind of knowing that they weren't relevant at that time either. That's still too late. Did um, you when you when you like. I don't know. You were like a pretty like pivotal age when you like found drifting. Did it, do you think that it helped like kind of mold you into the person you are today? Drifting? Yeah. Um, drifting per se. I mean, I guess, I don't know if it's that drifting did or if it's just the people that I was around. Like, I mean, I will say that finding drifting helped me have more of a drive for money that sounds kind of selfish or whatever. I would agree. But, I don't but yeah, I'd, like, I'd say the same for myself. Yeah, like it's the minute that I got into it, I was just like, okay, I realize this is not cheap. And I was <laughs> like, okay, I actually got to focus on school and like <laughs> actually like finishing and like making money and like getting a decent job, all that kind of stuff because there's yeah. no way I'm going to be able to afford this moving forward. So that side of it, yeah, that definitely helped yeah. a lot. Yeah. So you were in high school and then you're like, you're like, I should probably like 
like try and go to college if I want to keep doing this. Pretty much, yeah. It was like you know, it was at that point where it was just like, you know, like some like Ilya, for example, didn't bother with well, he think he did like one year of college or whatever, but he knew like his path to make money, right? My yeah. path, I decided to go the college route, that type of thing. And it was just like this is the only way this is gonna work is if I go to school and make a decent amount of money and do all that. So yeah, because I started yeah, it was high school is when I got my well. So I'm I'm odd. My I started school in London. So when I came to America, I they put they put me into the first grade when they should have put me into kindergarten because of like the schooling is different in the UK or whatever. So like I graduated mm-hmm. high school at the age of 16 because my birthday's also oh. in my birthday's in June. And so graduation was before my birthday. So I turned 17 like after graduation but i also started school a year early so like all that like messed everything up so so you're in high school when you're 12 yes technically well no 13 because school would have started so early yeah Mm -hmm. it was yeah it was weird it's crazy so so yeah 16 so i I didn't i finished high school i I finished high school at 16 but (laughs) i still had two more years left (laughs) <laughs> well that's one way to do it <laughs> that, that that works too i just, te- I just test it out i yeah, went to like man. i went to one of those like continuation schools that was like you know not all that oh, it yeah. was just like daycare it was, it was like it was like going to juvenile hall for eight years or eight eight hours a day it was yeah just to make sure like, you like uh, show up whatever that test is give me <laughs> yeah pretty much like keep, keep, keep you from being truant yeah, like, yeah that uh, works. give me that yeah. test i'm taking that i'm out of here I, don't, yeah. I'm, I have no desire to be at this place <laughs> no that, that that works that's one way to do it and then i ended but, up you know that's how you end up getting jumped in chinatowns because you have nothing to do during the week <laughs> you're with all your other friends you don't go to school yeah 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 that's true i mean yeah that's the interesting part about like i guess maybe that's more of the big city problem like how like a couple blocks can make a big difference on what kind of trouble you get yourself into. Like, even for me, like I lived, I grew up in the city. Like I actually grew up in the city of Chicago. Now I'm a suburbanite. Right. But like, it was one of those, like where I grew up was fine, but you know, two blocks down the other way, it wasn't necessarily fine. And like, there was definitely a lot of things. My brother probably got into more trouble than me. So he kind of got into trouble so that I didn't have to get into the trouble kind of stuff. So, but you know, it is what it is. He showed he showed you the way by he showed you the way by uh, he led by example of what not to do. Pretty much, yeah, that was probably the best way. And then eventually we left. I ran. We left the city, like at least that part of the city, before it really took like a big shit. So I remember there was like a shooting at like outside my school, like maybe a year after we moved out of the city. I was just like, damn. Whoa! So, not like at the school, but like just part outside of the, of the school. I mean, like the area is really not the bad. It was north side, so like it was. Yeah. Um, I don't know what you'd consider that. I guess that's not. It was Irving Park, basically, roughly Irving Park, roughly is where I was at. It's, so it's not far from. I'm trying to remember, have you ever been to any of Melvin's places when he lived in the city? I don't remember. No. Yeah, then you. No. It was in that general area, but Irving Park, kind of by. By Wrigley Field, by where the Cubs play, so not too far from there. That's where I grew up. That's cool. For the most part, it's fine. It's just one of those things. Is like literally just like certain blocks were just shitty, and certain blocks were fine. It's just weird, weird like yeah. that in the city. I think you can. I think. I think even if you live in the suburbs, you can find trouble. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. But if, but if, but if you live, you know, if, depending on where you live, like, it's. You can find trouble if you live in the suburbs. But you have to actively avoid trouble if you live close or in the places with there where there's a lot of trouble. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's just one of those things. Yeah. There's always trouble, no matter what. Where, where there's people, there is trouble. <laughs> Put it that way. Yep. If you find humans, yep. you will find trouble. That's the weird part. But we yeah. are we are unique beings, causing, we really causing are. problems. Yeah. Yeah, we really are. I don't understand. Uh, I mean, but I mean, we get we get to do drifting. That's cool. <laughs> That's true. Exactly. We get to play around and do stupid things with stupid cars. 
which is what I love. Yeah, like we evolved we evolved to a point where we get to like slide transportation units like <laughs> with each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that whole concept is weird. Like, how, have you brought your your mom ever to an event or no? Yeah, yeah. How did she like? She it? came to she came to the practice day before super d at grange mm, okay so she met yeah, like because she, she she like i i lived with her when i bought my s13 so i was always uh, okay. like in the garage that was when i like that's like where i learned to work on cars and then my mom that's a whole other story my mom moved to la uh like when i was 22 mm. and then i i went to go live with my dad which had its challenges uh but yeah she Mm -hmm. she came out and she so she hadn't seen drifting and in she had never seen it because i like when she moved i was still like going to sonoma every once in a while but like it was like some i was too young i didn't like want my parents there at the time yeah yeah yeah. no i think i was was 22 you're like this i'm the shit yeah (laughs) today yeah (laughs) yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so it was, it was pretty cool to have her out and my car was kind of broken. So I could like barely do the course and I definitely yeah. like, I could barely do the entry, but I could like do the whole infield and stuff. And she yeah. was like, that's the craziest thing I've ever did. Like, she's like, you know, I've had boyfriends who've had Mustangs and blah, blah you know, it's like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. I've never, you know, you're like, <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. I know your son's crazy. a fucking badass. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah because so my parents have never been but it's largely because all of our shit is so far like everything yeah. is like four hours away so it's just like i'm not gonna yeah. tell you to come so, all the way yeah, up the like, four hours. cool part is like grand is only like an hour and a half right from yeah depending on where you're at in la so it was like yeah it's not come out. Yeah. yeah like most of my friends have never even like the people from that story like none of them yeah. come to see me drift and like it used yeah. to just be at Sonoma, it was like a half an hour away from where they still <laughs> live, you know? Like they still wouldn't come out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, maybe like friends that are outside of cars, then yeah, most of them for me, same thing. They never really a couple. We the only time I think is when we had uh, we had an event called Automass that was closer to home. And like we had a bunch of people that came for that, but like that was like two events we've done. But usually, yeah, I was like, whatever. But I also like the did, funny part about did, like for example, my work. My work has zero idea that I do any of this. I think like, that's the coolest shit. Yeah. <laughs> they have no idea. Shit. Like, no idea. They're just like, oh, Simba, yeah, he's a good worker. I like that guy. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. It's, it's the job done. Very focused. You know, like, yeah. me, on the other hand, I like, this is, I act this way at work. Yeah. <laughs> I can't turn this off. Whatever this is going on up here, that's who I am all the time. And I have, like, no chance. I have no, like, shot of... I like tell dumb stories and like totally it's overshare uh, things that I shouldn't like, <laughs> everyone. I can't, uh, I can't like the only time that like one, one set of like people that we used to work with, they found out because they like got, we were having like one of the, like a company party one year, like four or five years ago for like a smaller division of our like company. And mm-hmm. they were looking for doing presentations on people they googled me and then they found this all and then i was just like oh lord and then that's when the questions came but like after that like i never talked about it ever again i was just like no just leave this world away (laughs) away yeah i I kept it separate kind of my boss thinks it's cool and he like asked me for like videos and pictures and stuff yeah, every time I go to an event. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he even every time, damn, every time he asks for pictures, yeah. damn. Yeah, yeah he's my like, boss oh, doesn't like I was like, oh, I'm going to this event. Like, he's like, I don't know. He's, we're, en- we're, we're all engineers. So, like, they kind of like, okay. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, my kinda... boss knows. And the funny part is, I have a picture of two of my cars in, I have a picture of my hatch when it was purple and my car when it was blue in my, well, I haven't been to my office in forever, but in my cubicle, I do. But I think people just assume it's pictures of cars that I like. I don't think they. A lot of them don't realize it's mine. <laughs> I'll, have, I'll have a picture of my car on my my background, and people will be like, "Oh, you're into drifting." I'm like, "Yeah," and they're like, "That's cool." And yeah. I'm like they're like, I don't know. They, no one ever goes, "Do is you that like car? that car?" Or is that your car? And you're, you know. Yeah, you know, I think I've had my, one person actually one my, person ask. 
when my background was my S13, people would ask me all the time because it looked like shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess, yeah, I have like when my car's pristine and perfect. So like yeah, yeah, it yeah, looks yeah. like a stock photo type situation kind of yeah. thing. And I was just like, so people just never really understood. And one of them is like, it's like a, it's a calendar cover and it says like 2007 calendar on it. So I was like, oh, you must just really like this car. So I was like, yeah, okay, yeah. whatever. You're like, that's fine. I don't yeah, know yeah, yeah. That. exactly. I, I keep it that way. Although I've brought my car to work, but like, you wouldn't really know because it's like, we, we don't start work at the same time. Like everybody starts at a different time. So you wouldn't really see, like I've parked it there and there's just, nobody's ever seen me come out of it. I- I did that when I'm at S13 and there was a there was a chat someone's like hey has anyone has everybody seen that piece of shit <laughs> <Are> you serious <laughs> for they're real like, they're like what in the fast and furious is that <laughs> what the- like no <laughs> <laughs> i was oh like dude i remember too because i was i think i was 23 at the time it was like yeah. just when i put the kit on and like over fenders and stuff and i had like the low yeah. mount wing and i was like yeah. i'm gonna roll up like the fucking <laughs> man like i couldn't sleep the night before <laughs> oh my and I god up, it was like it was like expectations versus reality <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like you're gonna be top dog and shit. And that was like that was like, that's what me realize. Like, like we live in a bubble. Like you know what I oh, mean. Yeah. We live in a yeah. bubble. Like no one people can't tell the difference between that like Honda Civic with the with the eBay yeah. wing and like every accessory from the auto parts store and like our cars. Yeah, at their no, at their peak. That, no, that's true. Like to be honest, like I always tell people, you know. So obviously, like we daily, well, not daily, but I, I drive my car a decent amount. I get more people talking to me about my Mustang in its present stock form than I do yeah. people talking about my S13. I don't know why. I don't know if it's that people are just like, I don't know if it's afraid to even say something about the S13 or what, but like the Mustang, people are like, yo, man, that's a cool car. And I'm like, it's stock. Like it, it looks different than <laughs> most because it like does, it's got like these rare wheels. So they look aftermarket, but like, and it's got tinted windows, but it's, just a gt black <laughs> but every time but he's like, like yeah, I man, that's literally cool. yeah I'm like <laughs> get thumbs ups like even on the highway i'll get a get a thumbs up that's 13 nothing i was uh... like what the fuck like it was like nothing it's like all right cool uh... but, it's yeah. the worst it really is it's i'm just worst. like come on come on now like the time my attention was when it was purple that's probably the only time I ever got attention in the S13. But blue, gray with a big giant rose on the side of it. Like how, like, why wouldn't you say something about a car yeah. with a giant rose on the side of it? But nope, nobody cares. All I would nope. get every time I drove, yeah. when I was driving my car on the street, all I would get is like, uh, hey, why are, the, why are the stickers backwards? Yeah, I got that a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, so the funny part, okay, so <laughs> when... Um, the blue car when i first like we went to go do like a photo shoot for some magazine or some shit when i first put vinyl on it and we went to the arboretum that's out here do you guys have arboretums out there is that those things mm, do you know what know arboretum what is. is it's like a is it a, is it a restaurant no 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 <laughs> it's they, it's a park it's like it's a park have, that's like meant for park? nature basically yeah 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 it's that's all it is okay. like trees and flowers or whatever so i went there because you know i had the the no, wave just, hood is the have, first time we just have outside <laughs> i mean we outside. we have outside too but it's like specific to like it's supposed to be like a walking path and like if you want to see specific types of flowers and blah 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 all that type of shit. it's kind of like to have japanese gardens don't you too you have those types of things yeah it's like that, yeah. but it's just we went to Japanese. we went to one of those. Oh yeah, did we we went to one of those right before we all got chicken? We went to that chicken spot with you guys, or was that? Did we go after? Did we know. go to Robert? When we met up in Tokyo, we would either just come from the from the garden. Like I the don't remember outdoor garden. Anyway, whatever. Oh Sorry. yes, yeah, I you're right. Your story. No. Oh, you are right. Yeah, we did. We go, we went to one of those. But yeah, anyways. So yeah, we went to, I went to there and I was with a photographer and we we're just taking pictures and like this, the arboretum is just filled with mainly old people just taking walks, right? Like going, doing their thing. So yeah. like we're 
sitting there taking photos with the car in different like places and people would keep coming like, people would keep coming up and asking about the car and most of the old people would be like why are the stickers backwards on this side but then they'd walk to the other side and they'd be like oh like about 80 percent of them figured it out by looking at it they're like oh it's for the exact same position he's like yeah i was like yeah, you guys Symmetrical. are smart you guys at least figured it out yeah you guys figured it out on your own <laughs> i was like thank you but yeah most uh, people because just like what symmetry 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 is the definition of beauty there you go did you know yes that? i mean technically right and then how they the whole face symmetry thing yeah you know how they measure beauty yeah like if your face is like not that's why that's this mole on this side means I'm ugly. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I need to get another there one go. on this side. There you go. Cindy Crawford will tell you otherwise. It's actually, a, it's actually a teardrop. There you go. Oh, man, you killed a man. Story. Just yeah. That's yeah. the end of your Chinatown story. Because people might think it is. A, yeah. Does it look yeah, like a teardrop? I found out who they were and I went back and I. I got like the. I got like the. You know how Ice Cube has like the three. Yeah, are those moles are those. Is that like, yeah? So I got one of them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what those are in Ice Cube. To be honest, that's a, they have to be moles, I'm right? Like, or birthmarks? I'm I'm like, like, same thing. Yeah, I guess like, and if we're gonna compare, he's Ice Cube, and I'm like, water <laughs> that's getting cold. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah. That that works. He's got three of them. I don't know, and they're like in a perfect triangle. Illuminati confirmed. I don't know what yeah. that is, dude. Yeah, I never really thought about it. Does, does his son have something similar? I feel like. I feel like uh, he does. What's his name? I don't, I don't know, but he's name. a good actor. Oh, no, it's Junior. Yeah. I don't know. It's, yeah, his same name. He was in that I movie forget. about the chick that was like obsessed with stalking people on social media. He's good. I like. Huh? Anyway, what movie? Oh. Wait, what, what movie is this? It's called Ingrid Goes. It's called Ingrid Goes West. It's about. It's about like a chick that's like crazy and uses social media to like stalk influencers and then become friends with them and then like try and make it on social media and it's actually good and then i mean it's it's yeah i don't know i watched i watched <laughs> it with my girlfriend she put it up. but it was it was good okay but he's in it and it, like the whole premise is he like loves batman and it's like <laughs> he's like obsessed with batman and that's like he like dates the crazy chick anyway who dude <laughs> movie reviews by palmer and simba <laughs> it, it was all right i guess you could watch it if you want i might maybe i'll think about it. i'll think about watching it how how upset how upset was chicago as a whole when like the fucking r kelly surviving r kelly shit came out <sighs> um well, it depends. So the problem is, is the man does make some good ass music. <laughs> so like, I know. I was at a bowling alley with my friend yeah. and like they hadn't updated the playlist in a while and like they they played like I think three or four different R. Kelly songs and you're just like man, I miss these songs. Like I can't, I'm sorry. It's still like, I'm as problematic as it is. I still can't help but step in the name of love. If it comes on, I'm not going to put it on, <laughs> but if it comes on, I am stepping in the name of love. I mean, so sorry, but like, it's, it's hard. I mean, but yeah, it was a pretty saddening type of situation. But the funny part is actually my boss's wife, she is like really good friends with the one of the directors of that whole show. So like, I was just like, oh, oh. man, you're ruining R. Kelly. I mean, he has ruined himself. <laughs> so to be clear, he did ruin yeah. himself. But, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you know, it was also one of those things that like, so I don't know, at least to me, I, I assume I thought this was a thing that everybody knew about R. Kelly. Like, I didn't know so many people didn't know what, what actually happened. Like, but there are some people from Chicago that I had no idea, and I was just like, "Wait, dude, I didn't know about you the all been like our Kelly has been this thing." I was like, "What? You it's... didn't know about? No, I didn't know any of that. Oh, my I didn't goodness. know any of it." Yeah, I, I thought this was common knowledge. I just thought everybody yeah. knew. I mean, that doesn't that probably makes it worse for me that I knew this entire time and I still <laughs> stepped in the name of love. But like, <laughs> but I knew, I, I knew. Oh, there wasn't anything in there that I didn't learn. Put it that way. 
like maybe oh. like a little bit of details but like generally speaking it was just like it was kind of everybody kind of knew like be like yeah i mean he literally says it in all of the songs yeah that, that was my other point is like yeah his music is age ain't nothing but a number yeah said it. my mind's <laughs> telling me my mind's yeah. telling me my mom telling me no but my body's telling yeah. me yes yeah, you're right. I don't see nothing wrong with a little bumping like, grind. Like, kinda... with that information, yeah, kind of <laughs> told everybody. Pretty good case as to they, what exactly. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like if I was like the prosecutor <laughs> in that in that courtroom, I would have just been like, <laughs> press play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally, like, just. I want you to listen to the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, yo, you you admitted it. Like you fully admitted everything that you've done. Like what? Yeah. What else do you want us to do here? <laughs> I was like, these these songs have new meaning now, and it makes me uncomfortable. But you know, hey, whatever. it does. Yeah, but no, it was definitely a a sad moment to have to deal with that from Mister Mister R Kelly. But you know, yeah, you could take the you could take the Dave Chappelle. Well, no, actually, it didn't really work. I was gonna say the Dave Chappelle way for Cosby, where he says he rapes, but he saved. I don't think R. Kelly saved anybody. No. I don't think he did any of that stuff. No. <laughs> I think he just thought about himself. That's about it. Man. Oh, wow. Well, poor, poor Robert. Now that, I'm, now that I'm bringing up R. Kelly, I think, we, I think we've gone off the rails on this. <laughs> a little bit. Just, just a little bit. I don't even know where to go from here. Um, uh, yeah, that that's a rough one. R. Kelly. Yeah, yeah that's rough. <laughs> I like. I had a bunch of jokes I was gonna make right now, and then I realized that they're all really insensitive. So I'm just gonna. Shut up. <laughs> you're gonna get banned from this. Banned I mean, from your whatever you're on. You're not even I on mean, something. Technically. I mean, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Man. All I know is none of us in drifting are ever gonna be famous enough to. Or I hope I hope there's no one in drifting like that. But you know, hey. Oh, mm, there are some problematic people in drifting. Maybe you don't know yet. You haven't paid attention to what Derp Down is, have you? Derp Down Instagram see page. That. Oh, I did see yeah, that. So there's some problematic people in drifting. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. Um, yeah. 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 That was we got, interesting. We got we got we got form, formula derp he formula derped the capital <laughs> yeah he did yeah formula derp really did go to the capital he stormed the capital i can't That's, believe that i cannot believe that either yeah like i was actually heavily surprised heavily i mean don't get me wrong i know there's racist people in uh in drifting yeah I've definitely run into the derp but you know that is what it is because you know he'll be like no 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 i shouldn't say that sorry that that is a bad generalization that I was about to make, so we're just gonna not say that. <laughs> but uh, there are racist people in drifting. There are racist people in everything, obviously. Derp yeah. down. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, that one's pretty wild, man. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's like, what was it? What was the intention there? And like, I guess, I guess it's like, I guess there is really no question. Like, if you're part of that group then you do have feelings about race yeah i assume i don't i mean like i've never met i mean i don't really care to put him on blast i've never met john jimison we'll just put him on blast because he's already been on blast but so i don't really know anything about him and i mean i just knew he was form of the derp just because everybody's known that for you know the last eight years or whatever yeah so like but yeah, which, um, which was always kind of like a goofy, like you know, poke at FD. But like, yeah, if you look yeah. at it, if you look at it through the like lens of somebody who's also gonna like get in on, you know, storming the Capitol and being like, he literally, he's like on a, he's like on some fucking site, like doxed and shit. Like it's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's what I, I don't know who found that or how they found that. That's what I'm most interested in, but. It was like how this, how they found this dude and everything. And then I'm also curious if he's going to uh, come back. If he's going to do use the page anymore, or if he's just going to give up. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that 
I, I don't know, man. I don't know. And if you go on to his most recent posts from, you know, like six months ago, like everybody's just been like calling about and making proud boy jokes, basically. Yeah. All sorts. Of- I don't even really understand what the proud boys are. Like, I, mean, I didn't. I'm not. I didn't know. Either. Yeah. I didn't know what they were until that whole thing. And even at that point, I was just like, what is that? I don't get yeah. it. I still I didn't don't. Have no really, idea. I still don't really know. What I hear on the inter- internet is what they call they call them the hipster KKK. Is basically, <laughs> the way they describe it, <laughs> that's how they describe the Proud Boy. <laughs> they have like beards and shit, and like fucking have, uh, basically, they have, like, yeah. They, like wax their mustaches before they like you know. Yeah, and then they're wearing black and yellow, like fucking what, what's the dude's name with black and yellow song what was his name Wiz Khalifa uh, yeah there he is. yeah We're like we love we love you Wiz we'll even <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah that's all I I really don't know what like their goal is and what they do or anything but apparently they stormed the capital so did that that's insane yep. I mean I, I don't know I'm sure there's plenty of drift people out there who feel the same yeah yeah, I I know some people that feel similar about certain things too. But yeah. you know, that's not that's on you. You do do what do what you want to do. You're not for me. <laughs> Just like, yeah. Was it like I don't know, I feel like I feel like in Chicago like I don't know, or is it fairly cool in Chicago? Like No, not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> it depends who you're there's some things in like trying to think of the most PC way of saying this, <laughs> but uh, there's def- I mean, there's definitely some, like, I mean, Illinois is one of those weird things where it's like Chicago is, is blue, I guess you could say, but like the entire rest of the state is red, right? Yeah. So like, you know, it's different how California, you know, you're basically two big lumps. I don't know what happens in the middle of like middle of nothing California or if, you, if people even live there. Oh no, it's, it's desert. It's it's pretty red. Like you know, in in the farm farm areas and so, like Central California yeah. is mainly like agricultural. So like okay. if like you know, literally on your way to Thunder Hill, there's you know, it's all Trump. Like you know, I think we're at the point yeah. where the internet has made uh, whatever your whatever your goal is you you kind of like i think i don't know how to explain it i feel like i feel like things are really polarized mm-hmm. even in places like california or like say chicago it's like yeah people are either one way or the other and it's like very far yeah it's yeah it's similar here like it's it's interesting i mean there's even in chicago you're gonna see a lot of like like i got nothing against republicans first of all yeah first and foremost like yeah. that's perfectly fine like i got a, bun- that, I got a so. bunch of friends that are like trump people and they're not like bad people you know it's like yeah, yeah, yeah it's you know it's it's everybody's got their buzzwords or their one ticket thumbs and blah 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 and all that type yeah. of stuff right so i got like, you, there's, do, you... you see trump flags in the city like in san francisco yeah. you think like you think san francisco would be like the most liberal fucking place in the world but there's yeah that's actually interesting yeah san francisco i am surprised about yeah i mean like yeah that's an interesting place san francisco i think, a lot, I think a lot of people like picture san francisco and they just like just like think it's like the Castro of, and it's the whole city, you know, like there's, it's like, it's very different in like different areas. We have like the place where I live is like kind of like a more beachy town. It's mm, kind of weird yeah. like in San Francisco though. And then there's like, you know, downtown, which is like downtown. It's, it's like downtown Chicago where it's like big buildings, business, yeah. you know, and like baller apartments and you yeah. just have a lot more crazy homeless people but you know yeah that's all i remember about san francisco <laughs> is the crazy homeless people and the dirtiness i forget was it you who took me or was it uh when i first went out there what's what's dude's name with the curl that used to be or is on your team or was on your team or i don't know like they say oh andy that lives in the san francisco yeah 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 yeah. because yeah. i stayed at did i stay at his house or I just i know me and melvin went to to sacramento for because his family lives out lives out in Sacramento. We went to go visit Gold Star and all that stuff. This was before Final About One, actually. So that was I think the first time we met all of them. And him and I just just out of the mm-hmm. blue. And then we we on our way back, we flew in from San Francisco, I believe, and we had hung out with Andy's place. 
I don't think I ended up sleeping there. I can't remember. And then he just took us like to some random bar or whatever, and like I don't know, we just did a bunch of random shit. But I just remember being past a bunch of home. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we went to like I remember we went to some like brat place or something, and somewhere in I don't remember. He took us to some weird places, but yeah, San Francisco was dirty. <laughs> That's all I remember. He took, but it was he fun. took you to the worst parts. He took you to the worst part. It was the fun. Of the city. <laughs> Terrible tour guide, Andy. Terrible tour guide. It was. Anyway. It was a blast. I mean, yeah, I remember like just rolling around. I yeah, remember yeah. people asking me for if I wanted some some coke or something. I don't remember. Like you know, it was, it was a good time. I've been not his friends, just random strangers. Asked, <laughs> yeah, I've been asked on the same block if I want. Uh, gay sex and cocaine <laughs> like within within like and like not and and not like just yeah. for fun like like yeah, yeah. pay for it oh, for yeah. both of them like on the same block <laughs> like I didn't even make it from one block to another and I got asked the same like two different questions and then yeah. like on the next block you, anyway uh, hey if you were going to be homeless yeah. if you're going to be homeless where would you go would you go to the would you go to Chicago where you're going <laughs> to die in the winter or would you no, go to California yeah. like of course yeah. we got all the of course we have all the fucking yeah. homeless people like yeah. You're gonna live yeah. where it's warm. I mean, I'd go to Hawaii, time. but yeah, the, that's the problem is getting to Hawaii. Yeah. But I also that would be a pretty good place to be homeless. And like, how are they gonna yeah. get rid of you? Well, the, the <laughs> thing Hawaii apparently has a pretty bad homeless situation, but it's because it's so expensive to live. So people go there and then they end up yeah. losing everything and then they're homeless. But you, know, you just chill on the beach. <laughs> like, I don't know what else do you do? So... Yeah. Well. It's a good backup plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You spend your last your last six hundred dollars getting there. Always make sure you make sure you have enough money to buy a yep. plane ticket to Hawaii, exactly. no matter what you do. That's all you do is just just enough money to get over there. Once you're there, be homeless. Then you're good. Yeah. And you know, don't be mean, don't be mean to people because of where they come from. <laughs> or in real life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that too. Uh, very true. Well, that's okay. Don't join a club <laughs> <laughs> and go to the capital. Seriously, I, 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 I just, I just uh, want to think. It's like, what was your plan? <laughs> what was the plan? What yeah. were you good? I want to, I want to see like yeah. the discussions they were having what, before they went. The you know what I mean? Like, what were they? T- <laughs> they're like, we're gonna go there and we're gonna change like, stuff. What? You're like, what are we gonna change? You're like, we're gonna go in there. We're gonna tell them how to. We're gonna tell them that they're they're stealing. Yeah. You're like, okay, like what? You're like, cool. Everybody, pull your money together. We're buying all these guys' plane yeah. tickets. Like, all right, and then and then like literally like thousands of people were like, we're going. Yeah, like what? I I would really be curious. Like, what literally? What was the plan? <laughs> What's your plan here? <laughs> I would love yeah. to see yeah. what that looked like. I want to know. I want to know. Like, I understand your grievances fully. Like, what are we gonna yeah. do? Like, we're gonna change their mind, but like, wow, like, how are how? we gonna do it? We're gonna go and there, then what? <laughs> we're gonna go where? We're gonna go to the Capitol. Are we gonna go inside it? Sure, yeah. <laughs> how do we get in? Actually, that's a great idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. And then, like, when they were there, it's like, they're like, who was the first one to be like, I'm doing it? All right, let's yeah. do it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I'm, yeah, I'm going oh, in. Yeah, I'm curious. Like, who was the first one? Yeah, like, what. Who came up with that? It's it's interesting. The psyche. What I'm do you curious. think the hotel bar was like the night before? You know? Oh man, yeah, that had to have been a, a wild experience there. And they'd be like talking about this plan all drunk and shit. Like, oh man. Imagine working at the bar. Yeah. The night before. Yeah. Knowing what's gonna happen the next day, it's you're like, like, oh god. You're like, because imagine uh, working at that hotel. Like, what convention is in town? Exactly. Like, yeah. What is happening? And you're like, where are all these people? dressed all funny all out here it's like hmm they're really patriotic all of them either black and yellow or red white and blue what's going on here but you know i was in arizona I, I and they could... were talking about no, go ahead. that like viking dude because he's from arizona oh yeah is it... oh he is okay like, well... yeah yeah they're... he's like well He's from the Phoenix area, you know, and I was like, it's like, and we have his mom, and it was like, uh, I think I was, I was like, I was staying in a hotel, so like the first channel is Fox News, yeah. So I like put it on, I'm like, hmm. and they were, she's like, you know, he never, you know, he's he's never heard a fly, and oh, you know, Jesus. he just, oh, he God. just feels strongly, and I'm like, 
Okay. All right. You know. Yeah. Why did? Why was he dressed up like I mean, that? Did they? Did she explain that? Like the outfit? A little I, weird. A little much. Know. Apparently, he would like wear that around. Oh. Uh, like around the city and stuff. Like that was like a common oh. thing. Okay. All right. Well, at he's least like, he's consistent. Sure. Then I'll take it. Imagine. Imagine you live near that dude. Right? <laughs> imagine you're like that guy's neighbor, and you see yeah. him like walking around all the time. Yeah. The horns and the fucking face paint and shit. Like, yeah. Like soapbox preaching on the street to people. Yeah. And then, the, like, you know, like years later or a year later, you're watching the news and he's like standing. Yeah. In Congress, like, and the fucking thing. You'd be like, are you kidding like, me? Yo. Like, yeah. <laughs> Jeff from down the street in the Capitol? Yeah. Yeah, that has to be weird. He's just like, what the f- Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Where are you? You flew all the way. Oh, my goodness. Wasn't he yeah. vegan or something like that? Or not vegan or like he, I think he's he vegetarian. Ordered organic food? Something? Oh, yeah. yeah. He, he, wouldn't I remember... eat, he wouldn't eat in prison because the food wasn't organic. That's right. Yeah. He was afraid of like GMO and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's right. I mean, that's cute. Yeah. I mean, hey, maybe he does eat like just animals. Like we're all animals. That's what. That's what the Vikings did, right? <laughs> That's yeah. how you got the fur. There you go. Man, you only need organic roadkill. Yep, no GMOs there. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we have talked about a lot of problematic things here between R. Kelly and the storming of the Capitol and John Jimison. I'm calling him out again. <laughs> yep. Hey, dude. Don't be shitty. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Please don't. There's, there's like. For everybody in drifting who thinks that that's cool, there's like a thousand people who don't think that's cool. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe the odds aren't that high. Actually, sadly, but yeah, yeah, just don't be, be nice. Be nice to people. It's easy. Don't join the hipster KKK. Mm-mm. We're pretty. You know, everybody's generally pretty nice. But I appreciate the drift community though the drift community is pretty cool in most cases even though some people give some people bad reps but they're pretty good everybody's pretty welcoming yeah Um, i you know i wouldn't i wouldn't know (laughs) you never hang out with people Uh, well it's gotta be weird so yeah california it's gotta be weird for you guys because like you guys would only really talk at an event right like realistically like outside of it you don't really obviously like you guys you know you hang out with your friends you know animal stuff blah 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 etc but like non-friends do you guys like ever is there ever a time when there's just going to be a place with a bunch of drifters like randoms that you don't know uh not like not like with you guys yeah because we have meets right like yeah it's just events like no none of the drift none of the like people None of you know, no one on animal style like goes to cart meets or anything or shows yeah. up. There isn't like a we don't really have that. Um, but I mean, there's obviously like a hot, lot of hot debates on Facebook, but I'm not on Facebook, so I actually really don't know how everyone feels or anyone feels. I, I see stuff on like Instagram here and there, and there are definitely people who like will lean to the side or that side of the fence. And I think it's more or less like what your friends and your like people around you and what like social media kind of like dictates is the things that you want to see. Like, I don't know if you've seen the social dilemma, yeah. but there is like, there's yeah. something or to no, that. No, and how, how yeah. They, like, that's true. I don't know how, how like social media kind of like tailors what you want to see or what like, yeah. what like angers you more to keep you engaged. Yeah. And like, that's the only dilemma with like communicating on the internet is people are really deep in their like who they are and like i don't know you're everyone's a different person on the internet right yeah like, nobody's the same damn person nobody's as real like and even even at events like at events like maybe it's just me because i'm usually running the event but i'm usually not as open and friendly or maybe kind of yeah i mean I'm there's definitely, busy. You know, there's, there's definitely people in drifting who like you know Lean, lean, you know it's you you can see it but it's like they're still at the events and it's not like i'm you know you're gonna like fight over it like you'll still drive together uh, as long, yeah, yeah. As, long yeah. as like no one crosses the line then yeah it is it is what it is right like you're not gonna be able to yeah, convince yeah, yeah. at this point like I it's really care, it's yeah. hard to as long as you're grown yeah, yeah, yeah do do, do you i stick with yeah. the do you boo boo <laughs> yeah 
just don't mm. just you know don't try and change my mind <laughs> pretty much yeah don't 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 try and convince mm-hmm. me i mean you you can try and convince me but like don't make it a task you yeah know? It, it'll be an uphill battle good luck good luck with it yeah kind of yeah but yeah it is what it is all right so we so we've pardoned r kelly yes <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. We've, con- we've condemned John Jemison. Mm-hmm. We have. Uh, we told my story about getting jumped in Chinatown, and getting my phone <laughs> back. That's always, that's always that's always a crowd pleaser. Yeah. Uh, told a story talked. about how I almost lost my legs, but I didn't. By my clutch, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. All the lose to Adam LZ. Yeah. Yeah. I want my revenge, by the way, Adam. If you're listening to this, you're not, but I want my revenge one way or another. <laughs> He'll get it too. Yeah. Honestly, we'll Simba's probably been, like been on fire lately. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I want my revenge. I, I want to go up against him. Been, he actually I've had nothing watching. but he had nothing but nice things to say about me. So I do appreciate the man. He was a very nice gentleman. So yeah. I do appreciate the kid. I, yeah, I no, like, the kids I'm he like is really good. As well. Yeah, yeah, he's a really good driver now. So props to him. Props to him for doing what he's been doing. I mean, I'm truly just jealous of, you know, the ability of him to be able to drift, what, like five times a week, basically, if he wants, anywhere and everywhere in the world. I know. It's kind of nice. I know. Kind of. just like nice. call somebody. He's like, hey, can I borrow your car? And they're like, yes, please. Yeah. And, you know, yeah, that was then. Now he has uh, like eight drift cars, right? Like at that time, he had. I don't I think he only had like maybe one. I think he just had S thirteen at the time, as far as drift cars. Yeah. Now now he's got like oh, yeah. several. But that was like a that was that was not long ago. Uh what was it like two like, years? If you think about it. Like think about the growth. Oh yeah. It's yeah. It's insane. It's insane. Yeah, because at the time, like yeah, at the time he didn't have very many cars. He just had like the S thirteen. To be honest, I, I, the only videos I watch is the ones when he was at US Air. Because he came to US Air once yeah. just to come, and then he came back for Super D like a year later. Yeah. But yeah, he's changing. We hung out with him. And then I like. Cars. We, hung, we hung out a bit when he came to Northwest, and then I, I followed him on IG, and then I like commented on something and then i realized like there's no chance that he'll ever see it <laughs> and i was like ah, all right well i'll just like follow the dude and yeah, like, I mean, you know. i'm like oh, we'll see i'm like oh let's let's i'm like all right that's cool and then i kind of just like i'm like ah, i don't want to watch like giveaway stuff and <laughs> raffles and like you know what i mean I don't, I don't yeah know. he luckily i don't think he i'm i'm he doesn't do I'm, much on instagram I'm, I'm he's happy. he's a youtuber so like he you don't i don't really yeah. I don't see that much. Maybe I'm not paying attention, but I don't really see too much on Instagram. It's all YouTube stuff. But like, even like hurt, like sometimes yeah. like on his posts, like he's we don't talk about famous people, <laughs> even though he'll never tell you that. But you know, that man, yeah, that man's got hurt. Is, hurts humble. Followings. Yeah, super humble. Yeah, which is dope. A very good thing. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't, hit, I haven't asked him if he wants to do this yet. I feel like I should probably wait until like people actually watch it, or maybe he'll rather do it because no one's watching. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I could see him do it. Like he's he might do yeah. it. He might. He might do it. Maybe he's cool because he does cool stuff thing. like that. I feel yeah, like yeah, yeah. I feel like he's like on camera so much that it's like kind of like you know what I mean. Like it's like his job. I don't want to like ask him to do it. Yeah. No, I feel you on that. Yeah, that's like the hard part, right? Like anytime you try and ask him, like you know to do things but like i mean because he does his twitch thing but he doesn't do it by schedule but he does that stuff and i don't know yeah i'm not sure he might he might be interested in doing it but who knows might be just a cool random thing yeah. good thing for him. i mean the hard part for him is you know now he's got a child right so like his time is he's a night owl yeah. so if you want you guys are same time zone so you can do it real late then it works, it works. all right yeah so just hit, hit him up, up at like a cooking breakfast yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm very glad that he like posts some of those things. So some of that shit delicious. <laughs> some of the stuff he posts, <laughs> good. Like, yeah, I'm good. I love that stuff. Like Damon, when Damon started like posting his family and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like yeah. this is what I want. This is this is what I want to see. You know, mm-hmm. but like I know no one else does. I, but like yeah. people who know you want to see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, that's definitely. the one thing with social media that's like 
you gotta like i don't know i kind of like seeing into the people's lives a little bit more than just like what their car is yeah yeah lot, it's definitely you know? and i think i lose yeah, it's like weird. a lot it's like because i post a bunch of crazy wild things. shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know that's cool it's, it's the fun stuff it's just yeah it's one of those how much you want to put out there i guess it's the dilemma always right like how much do you want to put out yeah so yeah that works there's one way to do it yeah no i don't know i'm sure there'll be like a machine learning deep fake of me anytime now I if mean, i ever call you and ask her if, like i tell you i need help and i need your credit card info it's not <laughs> <laughs> all right you're not going to tell me that my vehicle's warranty is about to expire is that what you're going to tell me <laughs> call me and do that <laughs> dude do you want your mustang to be protected or not no, you know, the fucked up part is like, vehicle's warranty was actually about to expire and it did expire. And like, and I was like, son of a, it's like, this is true, but no, <laughs> it is expiring. <laughs> Some bitches. Bastards. <sighs> I hate those things. I hate them dearly. Yeah. Damn telemarketers, leave me alone. I know, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a pain in the ass. It is a pain. I think, I think we I'd did, hate to be one. I think, what, telemarketer? Yeah. Oh, man. I bet they have such good stories, though. But, like, most of your day is probably pretty terrible. Did you ever watch any movies? What's the movie that they were telemarketers with? Uh... Sorry to Bother You? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that movie. Yeah. Did you know that, that movie, movie was directed by the movie was directed by the Coop? No, I did not know. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I think his name's like I can't remember what his last name is, but it's Bootsy Bootsy. I don't know. Maybe that's not even his real name. I don't fucking know. But yeah, the coop, the guy, the main guy from the coop is directed. Sorry to bother you. Interesting. And he did the music yeah, for the whole movie. I didn't know that. Oh shit, damn. Yeah, yeah, the music was weird. That whole movie was weird. Yeah. <laughs> I watched that on a plane. It was very weird. I what? watched it on a plane and they was... and it was uncensored. Uh, was anybody sex to you like what the fuck are you watching man yeah man it was it was like <laughs> oh there should Lord. be a fucking warning yeah when you pick that movie. yeah it is who, it, it takes a who, turn who decided it was okay to who, <laughs> who said it was okay to put that movie on an airplane with like yeah. children around uh, he, they probably didn't even know they're like, like oh. they were just like I know. I feel like they just picked them. I feel like they just picked movies, and they were like, "Oh yeah, that one's cheap. That one's cheap. That one's cheap. Uh, yeah. That one's cheap. Oh, we gotta get, we gotta get one for, for this demographic oh. and that demographic and this. Ah, uh, yeah, this. sure. And then they put it on the plane. And, like yeah. probably got so many. But like anyone who picked that movie probably was okay with like what happens in the movie. Like if you got that far into the movie, like yeah, on true. the airplane, you're like, I gotta see how this plays out. And if you're yeah. like not into like you probably would have turned it off. I, I don't know. I wonder how long it ran on the plane for. But it's it's just one of those things like it just comes out of nowhere. Like you're just watching a movie and like I had to look I had to look around. <laughs> like, I, I literally did like a 360 on this plane. I was like, yeah, who else saw that? <laughs> Cause yeah, it's just it, like it just takes this weird turn. You're just like, well, how did how did we get here? It's like, how did we get to yeah. this part of this movie? Like my goodness oh, oh man but it was, it's good I, I do enjoy it so anybody out there please watch sorry to buy me it's a really good movie just don't watch it around yeah. people what? want to see weird things with don't watch it with your kids yeah. don't watch it on an airplane and don't watch it with proud boys because they won't like it <laughs> yep there you go <laughs> <laughs> very true uh, uh, good yeah so, so if you're part of the hipster kkk i'm sorry <laughs> Sorry you know, to bother you. Sorry to bother you. <laughs> Simba and I are not impressed. <laughs> no, not at all. Oh, good. <laughs> all right, dude. Uh, I think we did like this three works. and a half hours. I guess. Oh, sweet Jesus. I guess with the with. Oh my. Yeah, what time is it for you? Like twelve? No, it's, a, it's eleven right now, so it's not too bad. It's tomorrow's Friday, so right. it's easy for me. All right, cool. But yeah, you can cut down my mom, all my. So. Oh yeah, yeah, shit, yeah. You got to do that. Congrats. Yeah, I gotta Congrats call my mom. Home. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not gonna like I don't I don't need I don't want to put that out there yet until it's a done deal, but fair enough. Fair you know enough. that works. I, yeah. I appreciate you doing this, Simba. You're, yeah, you're the man. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. it. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I get to see you soon. Hopefully, hopefully in the next. I, don't I, know. Know. I don't know. We'll figure I know. it out. We gotta, we gotta do like, yeah. I, I hope we can, something. we can do some kind of like Japan link up or something. At least like an event here or there, like somewhere. Yeah, get, yeah. we'll have make some, it work. Yeah. We'll figure it out. We can meet up in Texas. They don't care about anything there. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's fully open. I was just listening. I was listening to like Jimmy's thing and it like uh he's doing he's doing a, a Twitch stream like podcast. And oh sick. Zach, we're like talking about all the upcoming events and like you know, I'm yeah, like, just, dude, what is this, man? Like, like yeah, they, all, yeah, never, yeah, they don't care. Texas, it's Texas. Everything works in Texas. But, but uh all right yeah, man, then. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best. Good to talk to you. And I will uh talk to you soon, sir. I don't know why I saluted, but <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well then, All right, man. salute you back. All right. Thank you. Peace. All right, man. Bye. <laughs>